Hey gang, how's it going? Welcome to another story quest. Now, to another massive world quest. This time, I'm pretty excited because I can record it in full HD. <laughs> Which is the first time for a world qu world quest in quite a while. I think the Adonata might have been full HD as well, but then my OBS just started acting weird on the old PC. But now we're back on this computer. Um, another reason I want to do this, I would have liked to wait a bit longer to have a good time, but there is this event that only has two days left. It gives free mo gems. Uh, we like free mo gems, but we need to quest to unlock it. Uh, this will also unlock this part of the map, which I haven't been able to unlock yet, and I want to do exploration, so let's just start moving. Here we go. This world quest starts right here. The Splendorous Sky that day. Search for the strange object. I'm gonna get this waypoint. It's just convenient to have. And it looks like uh, right here in the bushes, I can dig. And we're going to find something. Found it! Found it! Padmon wonders what it is. It's a mysterious drum. <laughs> Cryo marking on it. Interesting. There's no treasure, just some old tattered drum. We don't know what it could be used for either. If we brought this to... Oh yeah, of course. Roy... Royin... Royinjan. <laughs> the antique seller. Or the academia. The Grand Bazaar. I feel like the Grand Bazaar. That's kind of cool. Maybe the people at the theater can make use of this. Yeah. Why wouldn't they already have a lot of these instruments? Maybe it's legendary. You know, it's not as if Paimon's re really know. It's not as if Paimon really knows the difference between drum types or anything. Hold on. There's a note over there at the side. It might just hold some clues. Oh wow. We're starting off with some big text. <laughs> big text energy. Nameless adventurers notes. This time, I've been commissioned to try and find a local order and obtain information about something known as the Sign of Aposha. I must say that this remuneration seems quite outsized when compared to the mission content. I hope I won't get caught up in any trouble. I reached the entrance to the Tamir Mountains with the help of an Emirate mercenary, but he refused to continue onward, saying that this was the border of a war. It must be some sort of desert dweller superstition. Yeah, or maybe like two gangs. Could be, right? Contrary to what I was told, it seems like these Nagarjunites? Nagarjunites? <laughs> Nagarjunites. <laughs> I don't know are not very friendly to outsiders. Looks like I'll have to try and infiltrate their ranks. Finally managed to make it out. Thankfully, these people are civilized, so I managed to get away with my life. As I thought, these high remuneration commissions always have something fishy going on. Looks like an adventurer's work doesn't suit people who just want to earn some quick mora. I'll just leave this drum here. Maybe someone will pick it up. That way, I guess I won't totally disappoint Miss Catherine. Okay. So... Maybe you get cursed if you bring it back to Catherine for the commission. Sign of a potion. Hmm. Paimon's not sure what this guy's talking about, but he sure is irresponsible leaving a commission unfinished just because it's hard. <laughs> Since that's how things are, let's hand this room over to Catherine and let her reassign someone to complete whatever this commission was. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. We got the Coribante Svarina. Very odd. I mean, I, I don't think we're supposed to do this. I think we're about to get... Jailed. How dare you take away this treasure? <laughs> hey cat, what's up? How are your recent travels? They've actually gone quite well, but they have been a bit tiring. It's true. Most people do feel that way. We're not hurt to take a little rest from time to time. You say that, but it does hurt. When I don't make videos, people are mad. <laughs> right away previous adventures, it seems that you become very experienced. As long as you keep going, I believe that it will only be a matter of time before you become a truly great adventurer. Hmm. Speaking of adventures, we found this one, on one of ours. Or we found this on one of ours. It was left by some irresponsible adventure. We thought it'd be bad if the commission he took never got resolved, so brought it back here. Here you go, this one has the cryo marking on it. Hmm, indeed, this item is a key to a particular commission. Thank you very much. The commission linked to this drum is very important from the academia, and is also critical for the expansion to our operations. Unfortunately, we've had... We have previously given this commission to various talented adventurers. They've all invariably failed. <laughs> a commission from the Academia. Here comes trouble. <laughs> well, this is an issue that even the Academia cannot solve, so we did expect a relatively high failure rate. Actually, Paimon's getting kind of curious now. What sort of commission is this, anyway? Simply put, a recent star observation, really, by researchers from the Academia led to discovery that the northern skies have become blocked by a strange heretofore unseen phenomenon. Concerned that this world would have a, or this would have a great impact on the accuracy of any astro astrological calculations, the academia immediately put people together to investigate. This resulted in them delving into ancient records within which they found mentions of a strange phenomenon known as the sign of a potion, which bears strong similarities to the recent occurrences. According to these records, the celestial sign appeared after 
the disaster that engulfed most of Tavat 500 years ago, really. Although the circumstances of its eventual disappearance are unclear, its position has been determined to be near the Tamir Mountains, at the north northernmost region of the desert. Okay, well that shows there's not going to be anything north anymore. <laughs> no more desert. Thank you. However, that area was only or has only been sparsely populated. Even when the ancient desert realms were at their peak, they did not extend that far. And after the cataclysm 500 years ago, that place was one of the areas worst affected by the encroaching abyss due to its being connected or due to it being connected to an ancient underground realm, really. Uh-huh. I'm still surprised there's no Enkanavia kind of area here, so maybe that's going to be there eventually. Since then, it's been declared restricted zone, thank you for turning on the lights, <laughs> by the Academia. The only people who still live there are mysterious Darshan, known as the Academia, or known to the Academia, as the Nagar... Nagarjunites... Uh, Na Nagarjunites... Nagarjunites... I do not know how to pronounce this. Huh. A mysterious Darshan, you say? <laughs> The NJs. <laughs> NJs? Is that okay? The Nagar. Sure. Though they seem like a legend to the average person, they were once a Darshan of the Academia, albeit the one that split off 500 years ago. Then, the researchers who wished to fight the monsters from the Abyss banded together and traveled the depths of the, of the desert, and the Nagarjumites are an organization compromised of the people who stayed there in the end. I'm still mad I don't know how to pronounce Nagarjumites. Um, what I could do is I can be like, how to pronounce Nagar... <laughs> Nagar... Junites. <laughs> how to pronounce Nagar Jun... Well, this is apparently a real term. This is like a, a, a name. Is it Indian name, perhaps? The following pronunciation is brought to you by pronouncing yeah, yeah, okay, we get it. S tell me. Nagar Jun. Nagar Jun. Nagarjunite. Yeah, but I, the, why did I look that up? I knew how to pronounce that part. I need to know how you say Ites. Nagarjunites. Nagarjunites. I'm gonna go with ice. I'm so sorry if it's bad. That said, it has been many years since, and they have branched off further and further away from the academia. They even seem to have developed their own academic traditions. It seems they also worship a form of energy known as the Kvarena. Wow, it's like Conrian energy. This energy communicates with them in the form of spirits. Okay, well, I feel like I'm going off topic now. The Academia believes that this faction is strongly related to this celestial sign. However, they've not been able to establish contact with this group, and as such, have commissioned the guild to assist in their investigations. It's a win-win situation for us as well. Ruins related to Conria are located nearby, but exploration in that area has been declared taboo by the Academia until now. If this commission is a success, perhaps we'll be able to participate in future expeditions to those ruins. That's spicy. That's real spicy. Since you heard me say so much, why don't you take on the commission? <laughs> You're just finding someone to step up to the plate, huh? Guess this is our business now. <laughs> well, since Conrad is involved, mostly this. After all that, it sounds like you just need to look for those whatever rights, right? Thank you. Whatever rights is a good term for them. Nagarjun, I believe. Nagarjunites. I think Palmon helped me figure out it was actually Nagarju nice. <laughs> Sounds like it'll be pretty easy, and we'll get some more from, from the Academia too. Yeah, that drum you picked up was originally given to us by the Academia to be used as a token of good fate in our dealings. Oh. Just give it to the organization's leader. It stands to reason that they will have some way to solve this problem. Well, so it's ours, it's not even theirs. I thought we stole their drum. <laughs> I'll be leaving this task in your hands then. I've marked a rough position of the Tamir Mountains for you. Add Astra Abyssos, traveler. May you inscribe a new legend in the desert sands. Okay. Interesting. Kvarina of good and evil started. Spicy, spicy, spicy. Let's move. Good thing I unlocked the waypoint. I'm already happy I did that. Although maybe the... Um, oh yeah, I had the domain. I didn't have to. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Um, I like the look of this desert. Kind of more than the previous ones. What the heck is that? Must be a sign of a potion. Not that. That looks scary. Actually crazy. Imagine just eats up my arrow. <laughs> you just hear mom in the distance. Continue onward. I'm working on it. No, leave me alone. Leave me alone, mushrooms. Ah. There's like salt. Salt spikes. There's no way this is ice, right? This has got to be like crystal formation. Wait, they did mention crystal. 
The splendorous sky that day. Talk to the person near the camp. Desert here looks pretty different from what we've seen before. Let's see if we can find any campsites nearby. Oh, look. Looks like there's someone over there. Really not. There's a lot of waypoints. These are really close to each other. And the thing in the middle? Hello, question mark man. Who are you? You guys don't look like tribespeople of the desert. More like adventurers from a faraway land. But no matter who you are, this is as far as you'll get. Please go back. We've been commissioned to come here, though. We are here to resolve the issue regarding the sign of a potia. The sign of a potia? How do you know of this name? We're adventurers who have an organization on our backs. <laughs> Catherine of the Adventurers Guild told us, of course. Since you know the sign of a potia, you must have heard of us. <laughs> right? The Order of Skeptics. <laughs> Shamania. The desert past this point is a restricted zone under our guard. As a ranger of the Order of Skeptics, I cannot let you pass, no matter what reason you may have. The Order of Skeptics? A ranger? My apologies. I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Piro, a member of the Order of Skeptics, in charge of guarding this place. Order of Skeptics? Palm remembers that. Catherine told us to look for the Nagar Chu <laughs> <Nagarju> sites. <laughs> <laughs> or something. Huh, looks like Pito isn't the one we're looking for. I got a June Knights. <laughs> That's just a derogatory term these those guys from the rainforest have for us. Lord Nagarjuna, oh please tell me that we're never calling them this again. That would save my life. Lord Nagarjuna is a hero who fought against the dev. Yeah, I hate the devs, dude. Especially when they make us do really long <laughs> and awful grinds and don't give us any good artifacts. The dev monster. Hmm, the dev is a monster. Alongside the divine bird's hairs, he gained divine power through the rite of Chinvat and put the end to the calamity. How dare they call us such a or how dare they call such a great hero and our first stop? Vin Vin V I think it's Vinanapati by his given name. Wait, why am I telling you outsiders this? Are you two spies from the academia? Yes. Where is the yes option? We're here because we accepted a commission. Ha! <laughs> So the Academia folk have been reduced to hiring some no-name adventurers to do their dirty work, eh? Cowards, just as I thought. What do you mean, no-name? I'm first sage of Boer, honorary knight of Mondstadt, deliverer, freer of Liwa, and give-backer of visions in Inazuma. I thought they made some of some mercenaries at worst. <laughs> what an oversight on my part. Uh, Paimon didn't expect you to have such a strong opinion about the Academia. Of course, Lord Nasuraya, or... Vision and Apati, thank you. Nasuria, Nasuraya. They have way too many nicknames for everything, man. I said that we wouldn't have been reduced to the state if it weren't for them. Wait, so are you here to gather? In you are here to gather intelligence, after all. Ha, I've revealed more than I should. Anyway, please leave. If this conversation continues, as unwilling as I am to do so, I would have to end you. What? You're the one who couldn't resist blabbing? Or are you putting the blame onto us? Also, there's no need to be rash. Oh, right, Rednos. Show Peter the token that Catherine gave us. He'll know what's going on once he sees it. Token? This had better not be some trick. Play the crazy drum. Ta-da! Look, told you we weren't lying. He's gonna be mad that we had to- How did you get this? Fucking thieves! <laughs> what is this shabby drum? You call this a token? Uh, did Catherine mix things up? You guys don't think you can bribe me with such a small thing, do you? Leave now or things will get nasty. Don't you underestimate us skeptics. Bring it on! Frickin' nerd. Busted. Gotcha. <laughs> I pressed E twice. Seize! Seize, I say! <laughs> what the hell? You're the little guy from the event! Oh, you're the little girl from the event, Lady Sarush. Why did you... You didn't have to attend such trivial matters personally, let alone in front of these outsiders. We putty appear before whoever we wish, and our volition is not for you mere mortals to question. How dare you overstep your bounds? This little thing is about Paimon's size, and the way she talks is kind of funny. Why is Piro calling Lady in that reverent tone? Hmm. Your sins will be judged, but for the time is yet to come. <laughs> two of you over there. Oh, the two of you over there. As it, um, sorry, the two of you over there as envoys. Oh, um, I guess I did read it right. Of the academia. It is only polite to state your names first. No. Yeah, we should have introduced ourselves first, but that high and mighty attitude of yours is. My words and actions are not contrary to traditions and principles of the party. Same cannot be said for you nameless persons. <laughs> ah, fine. We're not nameless. Paimon is Paimon, and she's Retnos. We're adventurers who came here on a commission. I'm the one who is an adventurer. <laughs> Come on, Paimon's actually being nice so far this quest. We're here to look for the Order of Skeptics. I don't know your names. I only... I need only know your names. Your utter trivialities do not concern me. However, as for that drum, that item has a profound connection with us, Paddy. 
and is not something that you mortals should possess. Let us, I command you to present it to me immediately. No. No, not if I get what I want first. <laughs> At least I'm nicer about when you're asking someone for a favor. Thank you, Paimon. Besides, this item is super important to our commission. We're here to hand it to the leader of this order of yours. If we give it to you and fail to complete the commission because of that, not only might we lose our reward, that might even have to pay Mora for the Adventurer's Guild. That's a huge loss. <laughs> reward? Mora? To think you would risk your lives in a place fraught with peril for such frivolous reasons. You know nothing of what transpires here. One mistake could send your race tumbling into eternal samsara. Hey, there you go. And yet, you commit deeds that are beyond even our comprehension. You humans are such interesting beings. No matter, I shall bring you the leader. To the leader, you speak of. This item would remain worthy tribute, even if you should only present it to me after that meeting. That's more like it. Wait, that's still not right. <laughs> we still don't have to deal uh, with that huge hole in the sky. And, oh, we still have to deal. I'm sorry, I'm not reading very smoothly right now. And if we don't, huge hole? You are fine to the sign of a potion, then. And you wish to quell this calamity with a mere mortal coils? Ha! <laughs> How presumptuous. It is the only... It is only... Nope. It is the duty of us party to eradicate the sign of a potion. An endeavor that I, Sorush, shall give my all to accomplish. To quell this calamity, I must follow the footsteps of the divine bird, Simurgh, <laughs> and sacrifice everything that one might, <laughs> might call Sorush. <laughs> I'm sorry, but there's so many, like, new new things that just get introduced. So many nicknames. Everything has two names. I understand for lore it's important, and it's actually very cool. But for a small brain like myself, I will not remember any of these names or terms ever. You understand? Huh? <laughs> Padma doesn't think that you'll need to sacrifice yourself for this, though. <laughs> In any case, this matter is far beyond your ca capabilities, and your intervention is futile. All you must do is bear silent witness as I transcend. You shall receive remuneration from this guild of yours, so as long as the calamity is quelled, will you not? Still, do not forget to extol my virtues and loud my accomplishments. <laughs> After all, even the greatest heroes shall require me mere mortals like you to sing off their deeds. But, Lady Sorush, the Vishnanapati has instructed... <laughs> instru I actually pronounced it decently, I think. Instructed us to forbid suspicious individuals from interfering before the ritual is complete. I've decided, and as a putty, my word is law. <laughs> uh. Alright, follow me. I shall take to the leader you spoke of. But gird yourselves all the same. That witch lies ahead. I read it as in a witch. That witch lies ahead is not a place that human beings can easily set foot in. If you get lost or end up being eaten by some monster appearing out of nowhere, there shall be nothing I can do for you. I refuse to believe that, little lo lady. I'm confident you can save me. Do you got anything else to say? Piero. As a speech real be lenient, you should make any suspicious moves. Luku sounds all reliable. <laughs> of course, I'm one of the oldest qualified members of our order. Okay. Encounter issues you can ask. Wait, no, I won't be answering any of your questions. <laughs> Nerd. Go on. What was it, lady? What were you saying? I wasn't listening. Well, I was, but I was distracted. Look, I'm one of one of the desert people now. You must appreciate me. She's also not saying anything anymore. I must have interrupted too much too quickly. I'll get the waypoints. I'm, I'm not even sorry, Exploration. This is a, a lifeline <laughs> for me. A five second clip of getting at the waypoint is not really worth it. Uh oh. Oh, yo! Fighting Baby Grod is one of body and mind with the land. Were it not for our presence, you would... These are just like Adonada equivalent of desert. Who knows? Oh, I need those flowers for Kave. Oh, I could've just ran here. It's not even close. You can just go here anyway. Well, the more you know. I just went to friends to steal their flowers. Fend off the monsters. Okay. Leave me alone. Get out of here. Do I have gear on Ningguang? I feel like my damage is a bit underwhelming. Ah, but what? There's more lads? And I don't... Well, I guess... You know what, actually? Geo might be decent against it? Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. You know what? Playing Ningguang makes me... It makes me miss old events so much. Like, I feel like there hasn't been anything interesting in recent events. Now, a thing I'd say I would do, and I really need to not forget, is that when the new region comes out, I'm only allowed to play the characters from that region, because I want to be weak again. <laughs> what do you mean, Dev? Aren't these just Abyss Mages and Hilatros? Yeah, but the Dev are the monsters, that's what they said. Yeah, I need to remember that, though. It would be way more fun to just play Lumine only and then all the new characters from Fontaine. 
but none of these other characters. To think you would so easily defeat the rampa rampaging, ramp rampaging dev. Your strength is most radiant indeed. Consider me impressed. Though there is still quite the gap between you and us, Putty. The sight of you fighting va va valiantly reminds me of those human humans of legend who once fought alongside us. Are you talking about my brother, perhaps? I've decided then. You shall have the honor of being my Yasnapati. I'm so happy you choose, chose me for Yasnapati because I've always wanted to be someone's Yasnapati. Pama doesn't know anything what that is, but coming from you, it can't be anything good, really. <laughs> Do you not have such things amongst humans? Strategists, scribes, and the like. Hmm. Those who exist to praise the heroes whose stories they exist in. Neither of those jobs are what you just described, so she wants us to tell her tale? No matter how great the hero, their great deeds must be recorded and sung by others. If not, the same fate that befell ancient heroes shall befall them also. Though they may have loved violence and conflict, great deeds are still great deeds, and they deserve to be remembered. <sighs> Alas, those who loved conflict would be consumed by it, and once they had slain each other, they were all lost. And because there were no authors or poets to tell their deeds, once all who had lived in such times were gone, their works forgotten to the last. I will not be like them. My great work shall shine gloriously, that the world itself will suffer great loss to not know of it. <laughs> Thus, I shall now give you permission to re re record those deeds. I am recording them. Rejoice and give thanks, for this is not a grace that, uh, for this is not a grace that few receive from us, Patty. This all sounds very complicated, but basically, you just need someone to tell how awesome you are, right? <laughs> uh, not interested, thanks. That's right, there's nothing worth bragging with you. You just look kinda cute, that's all. <laughs> Your refusal is futile. Orders given by a putty are absolute. <laughs> what do you mean, cute? I'm valiant, heroic! <laughs> Whatever the case, it's been decided. Fret not. You shall be free to do as you please once I have sacrificed myself to restore the pure skies. Till then, you shall witness my valiant form. Well, sure, even if Pomwan can't see it. Wow. She looks pretty cute, but her attitude is just the worst. I don't, I don't think it's that bad. When she goes on about us and we, we aren't like others, or there aren't others like her around. Ah, thinking about it makes Pymon a little ill. Why? There's so many flowers here. This is great. I'm going on a little flower picking trip. There you go. Oh, nice. Are you going to open doors for me? Oh, perhaps. The path here is now dotted with grey crystals. When I last left it, it was not yet so. Grey crystals? You mean the crystals we're seeing everywhere? Probably. Plymouth had her eyes from the from her one, but, but, but I thought they were salt, I'll be honest. I thought they were salt. Grey crystals are remnants of the black fire's embers. Oh, ash, okay. Proof that this land has suffered great calamity. The black fire. The calamity. Indeed, I'm sure you must have heard that great catastrophe struck a long time ago, where dark fire rose from beneath the earth and scorched the land. The dark fire opened a bottomless hollow in this land, and the demons of death that crawled through that gap uh, nearly turned this into a lightless realm. Though the gap was blocked by the great tree. <laughs> I like how she's moving her arms and like anim uh, animately talking about it. The dark fire's filth spread like seeds. The countless dark and painful memories released by that corruption began to lay roots and sprouts. This persisted till the honored lord of Kfarhafafa, the divine bird Simur, drank the primordial water left behind by our god, before transforming herself into Kfarena, and of, of all kinds, <laughs> and scattering across the land. From that day on, the Kfarena has taken the divine bird's place in defending this land, and those painful memories that leaked out have been sealed by Kfarena. I think I'm saying it okay. What was left are there... What was left are these ubiq... Ub, I don't know how to pronounce this... Ubiquitous? Grey crystals. Though they seem to be no different from any other stone, they may contain objects that are yet to be purified. Look, she's actually like explaining it. You see, you see this, and then there's this thing, and then this arm, and then boom! <laughs> the grey crystals in the area have increased of late. I suspect that this must have something to do with the sign of Apocha's dark power. But if we use... We might be able to get rid of these crystals. If my senses do not deceive me, a wandering Kfarena should be nearby. Let us look around. Oh, so it's like an exploration mechanic. I see. Use the power of the Kfarena to destroy the grey crystals. It's Bam, I'm a Kfarena. Um, let's see here. It's just a little sealy looking thing. And it just bumps into it and that's that. Shining in the mire. First achievement, get. 
Very interesting. So you just need to get these little guys. Well then, I did not misspeak, did I? This Kfarena wars the Great Earth. It would feel like a waste to not kill any of them. <laughs> oh, imagine we just explore out exploring these videos as well. I wouldn't dare. I wouldn't dare. Besides, chest looking pretty scenic. Where am I going? Up. The only way is up. Seely, leave me alone, dude. No, I do not want the Oculus because I'm going to forget that I got this one. And I think missing Oculi has to be the worst thing. I've never used those compass. I wonder if they're good. Uh, compass that only lead to Oculi because maybe it would show you wherever they are on the map, which would really save a ton of time. Here is a man. Talk to the leader of the skeptics. You're the leader, huh? Your question mark. Hello there. Lady Sarush, Kvarena's envoy. You have returned. Though it has taken much work on my path, the analysis of the documents regarding the right of Chinvat will soon be complete. According to my research, this guy also apparently does not care that we're here. <laughs> we need only collect all the great songs of Kvera next, and your great work may then be completed. Wait a moment, you two are... Do not fret. There are Rednos and Paimon, my newly chosen Yasnapati, and her companion. Okay, they are here to witness my great work. Hey now, Paimon hasn't agreed to that yet. A Yasnapati, you say? Though, I will not question your most astute judgment. I fear that allowing ignorant outsiders to this land before the right of Chinvat is, com is complete may have untoward effects. Know that the people of the Academia surely do not desire the right's completion. Speak no further. I have my reasons for doing this. Ooh. <laughs> well then, take that drum from, from before out. Okay, you bring out the drum, as agreed. Sure. Ecoribantes, drum. <laughs> drum. Ecoribantes, you say? Haha, <laughs> yes. This is an important catalyst for the ritual, needed to forge a laupa between ourselves and the party, a connection, also known as. I've searched for many years, and this... Oh, I've searched many years for this, and to think it now comes to me. Aha, this is indeed a good omen for my future plans. It would be good if the fates uh, will also be with me when I lead the Order of Skeptics to throw down the Academia and burn their House of Dana, or whatever they call it, to the ground. Hey! That's not very nice, dude. Probably not a good idea, even if you don't like the people. Wow, what a way to casually paint yourself as a villain, huh? <laughs> yes, I love Austin. <laughs> villain? <laughs> the Academia are the true villains here. No doubt of that. Huh, I forgot my introductions. I'm Nasevuna. The... V yeah, of course. Oh, you're the Vijnanapati. Vijnanapati. <laughs> of the Order of Skeptics. We who cultivate ourselves here. If you want, if you would use the terminology of the academia, it would be the equivalent of a sage. But I doubt those pampered folk would care much about what we, at the margin, call ourselves. You do not look like much. Uh, you do not look much like those academia might send. I, I see. I can't even speak. Of course, I'm not from the academia. We're just passing adventurers. Fair enough, though. It is in truth. Though in truth, it is. It would not matter even if you were from that dratic place. Even if the entire core of 30 were to be sent here, my plans could not be halted. Well, whatever your plans are, we didn't come to stop them, that's for sure. Ha! <laughs> so, they would all say, those treacherous louts from the academia. And my guard is down, you would stab me in the back. No, I'm not like that. Just like those people from Funny Masks who try to skulk around and steal our academic tomes. Helatros? <laughs> they even dare to attack our honored envoy of Kvarena, Lady Sorush. <laughs> And they met defeat at my hands, each one of them. I'm guessing those were oh the Fatui, of course. The Fatui? I know not what I know not of what you speak, but they were city folk, so I doubt the academia will be far behind in the shadows. Do not look upon us as some miserable few who inhabit the Timir Mountains. I guess the Hilatrols are the monsters. What was it again? I know what the monsters were I don't I forget. We once had such numbers that all the desert uh, north of Mount Damavand would struggle to hold us. It is only because our harsh environment that the slander of and ostracism, I think, by the academia that we have been reduced to this. If it was not for such sage souls as myself holding things together and the protection of Kvarena, we skeptics would have been reduced to nothing long ago. Hmm, sounds like quite the disagreement, yeah? Catherine said that you would have your differences, but it sure looks like pi to Paimon. Like, you skeptics really hate the academia. Say not hate, but rather that we cannot simply coexist. <laughs> when I was young, I did go there to learn in an attempt to mend our differences, but they treated me like an outsider. Though they feigned politeness by calling us a branch of the academia, this is not but a means to belittle us. 
It is said that our predecessors had a clash of ideals with them, and so chose to go into the desert to stand against the darkness themselves. From that day on, we've been holding firm in a war against defilement, defending our land, and what those useless louses have been doing in the meantime. Oops. Compared to those pampered pedants, <laughs> we who combine thought, word, and deed far better deserve honor for our wisdom. Uh, Pinewood doesn't quite get it. Nah, it's, it's, it's rivalry. You need only understand that conflict is the true nature of this world. Kvarena and impurity, daddy in the true way. It, it is these struggles for the supremacy, or for supremacy, that have kept this world alive, just as surely as the sky does. The sophists, in their fancy darshans, believe that all that the fates of all are inscribed in the skies, and that this is the supreme wisdom and truth. To be fair, we are indeed doing this to show the stars again, because they're worried that their astrological research won't go right, so... They're kind of right. Perhaps nothing is truly perfect. Ah, you... I think you thus, I hate that you speak like this. Then we might yet be friends. If time permits, we may discuss this issue in more detail. Nasudaya, this is not the time to talk about such things. Have you not seen how the Grey Crystals hem us in ever more tightly? If we do not extinguish the sign of Aposha soon, things will grow most perilous indeed. Well, speaking of the sign... Right, that's right. We were tasked to fix this whole thing. Oh, this whole thing. But after all this talking, we still don't know what it's supposed to be. Ha! Huh. Well, our plans also involve extinguishing that celestial mark. As for what it is, it must be a place described as anything. Let us call the water surface. Let us call it the water surface. Your explanation just making things more confusing. He's right. She's right. I'm also, I'm confused and tired. <laughs> the water's reflection, while an illusion, nonetheless hides the truth within itself. So, it is with the skies. It is like a mirage, if you have seen one of those before. Interesting. Okay. Big hole there is way spookier. This is also true. Well, it should be, for that celestial sign reflects an otherworldly hellscape. Long, long ago, Duddy, really, Conria, once built a facility here that connected the realms beyond. Dari. Okay. During the Great Disaster, which they say the Dari started, monsters swarmed from that very facility into the nations of the world. The monsters tore, port, tore open a gate. Uh, a great rift, which is a gate, <laughs> that came to be called the Tunigi Hollow. And though they were sealed away with the new vein on the ancient tree, this mysterious sign appeared long ago with that. What the sign reflects is that which lies beyond the dark rift, and though the monsters cannot enter to that through a delusion, it nonetheless radiates corrupt energies. That's so interesting. Do we get to peek through it eventually, please? They say that our very first Vijnada Pati extinguished that strange sign together with the Pati, but as the power of impurities strengthened over time, this ancient symbol has appeared once more. And uh, should we leave it be, who knows? That hollow may truly re-emerge one day, and that ancient war will be reenacted. That'd be crazy. Imagine a cutscene where that would happen again. Bro, that's crazy. <clears throat> in truth, <laughs> it might be interesting to live in such exciting times. It would be interesting. It would definitely be interesting, Paul. You cannot say it wouldn't be interesting. It'd be awful, but it'd be interesting. It matters not. Seymour drank the Immorta left behind by our god, transmuting herself into limitless Kfarena. As the hares, the divine birds, solving this problem in the, is the mission that we party have. I, Sarush, will surely leave behind a work great enough to be her equal. Mmm, big claims, big claims. Of course, of course. Kfarena's envoy. And we of the Order of Skeptics shall surely help you see your duty through. What's with all this talk about sacrifice? Is it really necessary to solve this problem? Well, in truth, I do not know. All documents regarding the sign of Aposha have long been lost, and the tradition and rites surrounding it have also ceased to be passed down. So we're just going with the stereotypical, we must sacrifice one in the volcano. <laughs> if it had not been for me constantly looking up what documents were left, there might not have been any more left to know uh, that the rite of Chinvat existed at all. According to my research, the party are the descendants of Simurg, and should therefore also have power to transform into Kafarena to purify the land. Okay, so they are the descendants of the big legendary bird, I remember that. Um, is this maybe from some kind of mythology? Because I'm gonna say something crazy now, but I used to play a different gacha game that had a legendary bird called like Sigmarus, I think. <laughs> so maybe something, it, it's kind of similar a little bit. That's what helped me, that's what's helped me remind it, remember anyway. 
And would you not say that a grand sacrifice to save the other world, or to save the world on the part of the Divine Bird's hairs, would very much suit our Order's style? What? That's so... I don't know how to say that. Hafizard. This sacrifice you're talking about doesn't sound like a small thing either. Why aren't we thinking of other ways to solve this issue? I'm unsure there's got to be some alternative, right? It's always been this way, hasn't it? I'm very good at my job, after all. I already said you, do not, you need not interfere. Simply witnessing my sacrifice shall suffice. It is something worth celebrating that we putty should sacrifice ourselves to live or our lives to purify the earth. Well, you say that, but I would ask you to keep a respectful distance from that which you do not comprehend, outsiders. <laughs> but since this is the case, I also really like how this Ningguang thing still hasn't been fixed. Uh, I was planning to investigate the Tunigi Hollow to make preparations for the rite of Chinvat anyway. Why don't you come along? I trust you also wish to see the scars left behind in a fisher or by a fisher that once led beyond our world's bounds. When you see it, I believe you shall understand. Well, Paimon is kind of curious, see, it would be interesting. A sound plan. In that case, I shall lead the way. After all, you would find it impossible to freely traverse this land where Karena battles against impurity. My yes, Napati, follow me to the end. Watch me complete my mission. So this is it? She's already going to sacrifice? Hey, there you go. Sorush, Bloomguard of the Putty. Putty are very mysterious creatures, and as a Bloomguard of a race... As the Bloomguard of a race. So she's like the, the, the big one, the chief. The, the chief. <laughs> Sorush can replace your character to fly and move? When Sorush is in, a, in flight, your character will stay in place to await her return. That's so cool. It's like a little drone. The center descent, you can use the accelerate skill to increase her flight speed. Sarush cannot be too far away from your character, though a bloom guard should never abandon others after all. You can call upon special energies, mysterious mayflies dance. Interact skill to allow her to use her power to guide the might of Kvarena. Hold her interact skill to cause her to stop and con con continuously channel Kvarena's might. During this time, you can control your character freely. As a party, Sarush can, uh, can perceive some things beyond normal human sight. Is this in the underground? No, it's not. I thought it was by the Adonada. So I unlock Sarush now. In that case, let me tell you my Yasnapati in this. I shall simply call you Pale Floater. Yeah, Paimon. Pale Floater. Fair. You are, after all, as foolish as a specter. Wow. Objection! Objection! <laughs> Paimon's not going to take that coming from someone I couldn't see the rest. It was too quick. Anyway, we have right here Sarush. Hey, Sarush. Whoa, when a blind rest card turns into a bird. Whoa, this is kind of cool. <laughs> Yo, I love this. What the hell? <laughs> e. oh, that's kind of useless. Left control to go down. I can go so far away. What is this? Oh, what the hell? That's so cool. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I can't do it. No, no, that's super exciting. Can you grab? No way. I don't want to try it yet. That's going to be so cool. How do I go back to myself? Hold Z. What the heck am I doing? Challenge failed. Yeah, that's intentional. That's crazy. I will unlock this part of the map as well. Wait. <laughs> that's so cool, actually. What the heck? Don't stay too far away. I won't. No, I will. Damn it. I was so close, though. Fine. There's a thing anyway. I can float up. I don't even need to be a little animal. I truly doubt the animal would be able to activate this anyway. With all due respect for this tiny god, you can't do this, can you? Yeah. Bling. That is so interesting. Oh wait, it's kind of weirdly... Wait, is it always like this? It feels like it's locked. Why is it so dark red? No. Nope. There you go, unlocking the map. It's just one part. Tuniki Hollow, Tamir Mountains, and the Gate of Zukrochofrofra. And we get this thing. Inquisitious. Inquisitious. Bat. Batiste? Batist? I don't know, dude. Leave. Thanks. Okay, let's do a little bit more. My voice is getting kind of tired, so I shouldn't record too much more, but. Uh, it's fun. It's cool. Ah, huh. is that deep pit the Tanigi Holly we were talking about earlier? There's super huge crystals all over the place, even bigger than the two we saw before. They look scarier, too. These were once huge trees used to seal and subdue creatures of the dark depths. The power of defilement has corrupted them, warping them into such forms as you see now. Really? Since the monsters have been sealed, it sure doesn't look like anyone needs to sacrifice themselves again. That is why we must use the power of Kvarena to reopen the way. Hey, wouldn't that just release the monsters again? 
They took so much effort to seal, too. No, no. I mean, we must open the path to the sign of Aposha. The way to the rift in the earth was sealed long ago. It can never lead to the true darkness again. But that is exactly why that sealed rift does indeed connect itself to the illusion of the abyss. We need only use the great songs of Kvarina to, to stabilize the seal before initiating the rite of Chindat to pass through the darkness and reach the sign. The songs? They are the mightiest manifestations of the Kvarina scattered throughout the world. We can use the great songs to initiate the rite of Chinvat. After that, we can open up a path to the darkness, just as legends hold just as legend holds that the first <laughs> vision on Apati Nagar Yuna mm -hmm, and the party did. I know exactly what I'm saying. That's well and all. What? <laughs> That's all well and good, but uh, what will we do once we reach the side that sign is on? I do not know what happens after that. I've encountered legends that our first yeah, okay, was lifted up to the heavens, where he used divine power to extinguish the sign, but that, I feel, is a mere myth. I believe that Kvarena's envoys will have some ways. Since they can purify the defiling impurities, they must also have some way to extinguish the sign. Ha! <laughs> Does Surush not also say that she wishes to imitate the sacrifice of Simurg? <laughs> the world is built upon conflict and sacrifice, after all. Your... no, your mindset is duke duke, dude. That's what Surush says, sure, but that's way too responsible of you. Oh, don't fret. Before the necessity of any sacrifice can be ascertained, we must bring the great songs of Kvarena together. At the moment, we have yet to take even the first step forward. Uh-huh, says the guy who's just been talking this whole time. Well, basically, only the party who has been chosen as a bloom guard can touch the great songs. Well, that's Lady Sorush. Our current envoy, Lady Sorush, has yet to obtain that right. Huh, she's sad. Is that so? For all that bluster, you really aren't all that, huh, Sorush? You dare speak to me like that pill floater? Well, Paimon isn't a pill floater. Only by obtaining the twin-horned chaplet may she become the Bloom Guard, a being able to gather the power of Kvarena. As such, she must be the first acknowledged by Lady Zuran, the first Zurvan, the first party. She's a mighty party, once fought alongside our ancestors. It is even said that she was the very party <laughs> who fought alongside the ancient heroes to subdue the embers of the abyss. But that elder of ours is utterly unreasonable. She refuses to acknowledge my dear, dearest desire. I am afraid there's nothing I can do about that. Still, even without the Twin Horde Chaplet, my sacrifice will suffice to accomplish this deed. Of course, I do not intend to doubt your desire to sacrifice yourself this way, but if you are unable to perform the rite and pass through the Dark Hollow, your wish will not be fulfilled nonetheless. However, I do have a suggestion. Lady Sarouche called you her Yasnapati, did she not? Why don't you go with her to the... <laughs> V Vurukasha Oasis. This is where Lady Zurvan may be found. Perhaps Lady Zurvan may change her mind, yet should she see that as humans view Lady Sorush as a predestined envoy. I'm so sorry for you having to hear any of what I just butchered. And why aren't you going? Well, as for me, she would certainly look down on a bookish man like me, considering her many years of experience. If she looked upon me, I doubt she would ever change her mind again. <laughs> Okay, and how are you supposed to convince us, if that's what you think of yourself? This is the only method we have at present to change our current situation, so please, do go with Lady Sarush to the sacred place protected by the Kvarena. <laughs> Aren't you a sneaky one? Looks like you, you're the only person Quint uh -huh. Of course not, there's much I must do. For example, the preparations for the Rite of Chinvat must still be done. I must also consult the worlds of ancient scribes once more to ascertain the locations of the great songs. As for the Koritram you brought, I believe uh, I may now form a connection with the party who sleep at present once more. Their awakening is necessary for the rite of Chinvat to occur. Regardless, I leave the matter to Twin Horn Chaplet to you. Once everything is complete, let us meet at the campsite upon Tamir Mountains. Oh well, so we have to look for that party elder, right? Well, let's hope she's as nasty as Sorush is. Well, if Sorush says she's nasty, we're in for a treat, probably. I do find it odd still, why is there a cryo sign on that drum? Okay. Now, I heard them mention that twin horn thing a couple times. I do believe that is... Okay, it's... It, we're gonna have to follow this path. The twin horn thing is what we need. Like, what we need most. This has so many sparkles. I'm very intrigued. For the event. So, as soon as I get that... up, oh. Ah, oh, man. It's the... Ah, uh, I can't open it. by I can't open it. I'm sad. This will be incredibly fun to explore, though. I'm really looking forward to this now. I think I will record the big pit soon. Because this is hype. 
And I'm liking the story as well, so I feel like doing the rest of this, it's just that it's kind of late. Anyway, I'm just going to be running there and I'll see you in between if there's anything interesting. And otherwise, I'll see you there. The gate of Zul something something. Let's see it. So, oh, continue onward. So it's still nothing. It's still nothing. <laughs> what I can do now, though, is use this little one. And I press E. Whose descendant are you and what's your name or something like that? Can I get a double? Never lucky. Okay. Oh, that was expiration. The entrance was just open. <laughs> Whoops, that's fine. We'll definitely walk through here, right? No shot, we don't. Uh, kind of tiny chest. Kind of tiny. Oh. Oh, wow. It's like a spine. It's like a weird spine shape. Interesting. And there's one of those things from the tutorial earlier. It's making me run around the rosy right now. Oh. Hello. That is not the sound that sand makes. Whoa, the crystal here looks alive. <laughs> or it looks like. Could this be one of those Wanuts that we've seen before? How did you get trapped here? Hmm. So you call these ch children of the ancient dragon the Wanuts? I'm gonna call them Wanuts. I think people call them Weenut and people call them Win Wanute? I don't know. Still, it does not have a sinful form. Perhaps it was merely unlucky to have been caught in a crossfire and sealed here. Well, maybe it's a good thing it's been sealed here. If not, it might just pop out of the ground and swallow us in all in one go. I'll protect you, Paimon, don't worry. I don't think you'd be very good to eat, that's not true, we'd be calling your emergency food the entire game. Heh, <laughs> Paimon knows that, of course you do. Heh, <laughs> you two certainly do, like, do look like you get on well. We've known each other for like three years. It is not also said that even the constant companions would fail to notice if the other was spirited away by a sprite. These stories are quite common too, yes. What are you talking about? I would never do that. <laughs> I'm really just. If you are boss and buddies, you surely... Surely some idle jokes will not move you. Oh, I get her all the time with pranks, trust. <laughs> we shall very soon reach the Oasis. Come on, let us hurry. Really? Just just to see a wee nut, you stopped us? Huh, exploration while doing this quest must be a crazy experience as well. It would be fun. It'd definitely be fun to do. But at the same time, people want to see the Explorer videos stand alone. So many lizards. Take it easy. Take it easy. Okay, another waypoint that we'll definitely grab. Whoa. That's what you just said the defiled energy is oozing out of that huge gap. Looks like there's a large tree stump down there too. The energy... Oh, Pyman doesn't know or what. Let's go over and have a look. Wait, aren't waypoints always tiny like this? And do they grow when you grab them? Why is it the first time in my life that I've noticed that the waypoint is so tiny? <laughs> when probably all of them always are. We're back into uncharted territory once again. Um, I'll see you when I'm there once again, because it's going to be a while. Hey, right, two, two chili trolls. Oh, look at her twirl. She look at your little twirl. Oh, wow. It's pretty, this tree. Very nice. Here is a second one. A statue of the seven. So many statues of the seven. And we now have the full area unlocked. It actually does look pretty big, but I think there's less underground, which is very exciting to me. And there's only two underground waypoints here in comparison to this absolute hellscape. <laughs> but I'm happy about that. Teleport waypoint unlocked. Thank you very much. Continue potential explorer. Yep, that would have been a cool achievement to get an exploration video. But at the same time, hey, you don't watch those for achievements, right? I also might finally make the achievement claim video soon. I'm going to be cutting here a lot. Oh. Perfect. If I didn't think there'd be such a huge patch of green on the other end of the mountain. We were just in the desert, too. How strange. Impressive, is it not? It is our homeland, after all. The homeland of the party? So there will be lots of other people like you, you're right. Huh, you know what? Paimon's not all that keen on going. <laughs> She'd not be excited beyond words. Well, if they're all like you, is what she means. And the big tree stump over there looks like it's holding some of the oozing stuff out of the big hole. <laughs> That is the Harvey's... Oh yeah, of course, the Harvey's talk. How do you say... Harvey's... Harvey's Tokum. Harvey's Tokum. The sacred form of the god that has granted us Pari life. It is not just some large stump. That's a god? Well, we've seen other gods, but this is the first time we've seen one looking like that. That's because our god... Cannot be considered alive. 500 years ago, our great god gave it all to quell the power of the dis disaster afflicting this place. But she was stained by the corruption, and could not be reborn in a pure plane. Thus, her divine consciousness continued to wander, and a mortal one. Oh, 
Oh, sorry. Our great god left us with the sanctified Amirta, Amrita, and the lord of Verger caused us... Oh, how did we spoke to... to grow, no, it is some Scandinavian. To grow from that, thus anchoring our god to this realm. The Vorukasha oasis has been nourished by the Am Amrita, and even the Kfarena <laughs> that defends this earth gains its unending power by the grace of Amrita. But this god of yours doesn't look too well. She's been trying to hold a, hold the stuff again. She, yep, she's trying to stop the stuff. Her power maintains the seal of the Dark Hollow. I fear that the emergence of this sign is due to the attra attraction of that evil power. If it were not the presence of Harvishapshapra, the defilement surging forth from that hollow would have infected the entire world. But it is also due to performing this duty that the tree has deteriorated so much. I do not believe I could ever bear to be reduced to such a state. That's why you're not ready. That's why I must leave a legacy of heroism behind, for all to remember before it does happen. Well, never mind. That, first. <laughs> Let's go look for this Zurvan person, shall we? If we get that chaplet and fix the sky real quick, that might make your god feel better too. You're right, Paimon. You're right, very smart. This is pretty music. I like this a lot. I was gonna walk so we don't get interrupted. But I'm sure we'll hear the track a million more times. We'll be able to uh, see the Elder once we get out of here. Boar! You aren't getting nervous now, are you, Sorush? Oh, butterflies. I need those, I'm really low on them. And froggies? Well, this place is amazing. I didn't see if Sorush was getting nervous after our taunt. This is absolutely beautiful. And the music is incredible as well. What? I'm just enjoying this, I'm sorry. <laughs> In quietness. I'd, I'd probably leave it in just so you can enjoy the music as well. Here's another waypoint. Uh, the, I, you have to say, the music in this game is incredible, isn't it? So many things about it are incredible. It changed my life. Hello there. Zurvan, you were a lot easier to find than I thought. Look at this. You're a lot cuter than this one. Can we have the purple one? Hello, purple one. Well, if it isn't Sorush, such a rare guest. It's been a while, Elder Zurvan. Elder? Well, if you call me that, you should follow party norms and cease consorting with these humans whose hearts are, are heavy with their ulterior motives. <laughs> I haven't gone against our norm. I have only made contact with humanity to find a way to extinguish the sky fire, just as the divine bird did. And is that what you have learned? All that claptrap about sacrifice from the humans? We party care nothing for such foolishness. Thank you. We also said that. Ask Paimon. Paimon, interject. Say that you also were against sacrifice. Isn't our duty as Paddy to sacrifice ourselves in the battle against the filing impurity? Await the order of destiny, Sorush. Only humans rush in blindly. Not only humans, other dumb things do that too. Not just humans. <laughs> this destiny you speak of is a nebulous thing. I cannot simply be expected to sit and wait for it. And that is precisely the danger. The chapel you seek contains the highest authority of over Kvarena. And giving it to you, I may as well be handing the power of Kvarena over to those untrustworthy humans. Can you just have more faith in me, Elder? Uh, you two. Looks like we're being left out here, aren't we? Also, it seems like Sorush loses that cocky attitude of hers in front of Zurvan, huh? <laughs> She's probably just fond of weird roleplay. Nah. She has other facets to her person, I'm sure. That's a scary thought. I don't think so. I think it's calming. Well then, little ones. You came with Sorush, yes? This is not a place that ordinary humans may visit lightly. Let me see. Well, you certainly aren't from the Order of Skeptics. You seem to be an outlander, in fact. Well, in matters of courtesy, I suppose you shall introduce yourselves first. I don't ask humans for their names often, you know. Paimon's Paimon, and she's Rethnos. We're... Uh, adventurers who shuttle across the vat. Adventurers? So you're travelers, then? Well, no. I do think I've seen a traveler much like you before. There it is! Wow, guys, shocker, truly. Oh, our brother's been here 500 years ago, crazy. This is the forbidden land of the Pari, the par paradise nursed by Am Amrita, the shrine at which we pay reverence to our great god. Only heroes who have forged bonds with the Pari and pilgrims who have come who have come to genuflect? Genuflect. That's a cool word. <laughs> Before our god may enter. I shall take it that you're Surish's companions then. <laughs> it's been several hundred years since human last visited our sea of flowers. That said, aren't there a ton of skeptics living outside in the desert? Don't they know how to enter this place? <laughs> I shall not permit such discourteous folks to enter our hidden realm. In the past, we probably didn't need to fight alongside with our ancestors. We even lived here together. But many years have passed, and folly has grown strong amongst them. Even the traditional rites have become utterly forgotten. 
None living amongst them can now forge a laupa with a pari. Well, he thinks he can by playing a drum. <laughs> they should have been the ones uh, to conduct the rite of Ab Zor for the tree that suppresses the dark hollow, thus cleansing it of the filth that stained it. So we can do it. Awesome. Yes, the deterioration of the tree cannot be avoided, but if they had not neglected the rite and caused the seal to weaken, this terrifying sign would never have reappeared so soon. But human tradition is unreliable in this fashion, it's true. Compared to them, you outlander folks, or you outlanders, uh, blank slates as you are, certainly deem more dependable. Paimon's not sure if you're actually praising us or not, but we're here to... <laughs> I would guess you were here <laughs> about to sign this guy. You're right. You're right. Uh, see, I, I felt like this one wouldn't... It's crazy how she was absolutely bashing humans, and I was like, you guys are okay, though. Uh, would visit our little nook uh, if not for this great crisis. Um, well, we were commissioned to deal with the large hole, yeah. Oh my, oh my. So it is as I guessed. It seems that even after so long, this short-lived race is as short-sighted as ever. Still, if it were not that way, would you even need us putty to act on your behalf? <sighs> Looks like the party are just pretty nasty as a whole. <laughs> Regardless, since human heroes have, have graced our secret garden, it seems the gears of destiny have begun to turn once more. And you seem to be an interesting human being, too. Ah, that takes me back. Once upon a time, I too traveled alongside humans, as curious as you to quell a calamity. Perhaps you really might equal their great deeds. Well then, it's decided. I shall give you a chance. The two of you certainly seem more trustworthy than those blind and foolish skeptics. Yeah, I agree with you on that. Elder, shouldn't you put your trust in me instead? <laughs> well, as for that, you do know where Arashnu and Mihir are, right? Go bring them here. They should still be enjoying their beauty sleep right now. This will serve as proof of your trustworthiness, and I'll be able to give the chaplet to you. Oh. Oh, Paimon knows. So this is the kind of seal that everyone needs to get together to break, and then we can get rid of the chaplet, right? Or we can get the chaplet. Ah, such impoverished imagination. <laughs> the chaplet can be given to you at any time, but to solve the issue of the sign of Aposha, we will need their strength. Sarush alone will not be able to open the path through the Dark Hollow, not even with, th with the chaplet. I don't know what the chaplet is. This, perhaps, is not our example of the Rule of Three. Paimon doesn't really know what you're saying, but as long as we can get the chaplet, it's fine. Indeed. Rethnos, Paimon, do help Sarush out, alright? I don't need help. <laughs> You're not very honest, Sarush, but since your elder said so, I guess you've just got to listen to us. Bye. Oh, and she flew away. Where the light touches. We are farming right now. We are farming. Awakening's real sound. Heart of Amerhit. So we get like three different angles here from here on out, I think. We get like three different quests. Yeah, it pops one big one and then two sub quests. And one gives more primos than the other. Probably because it's way longer, but I will say I don't think we have it yet. Oh, um, I will stop here though. Thank you so much for watching so far, and uh, I'll be back soon with the rest of this quest, which is actually very interesting. I'm very excited for it, and I think this exploration thing is super duper cool. I'm like, meow. I wonder if you can do it in co-op. Probably not. It'd be very fun though. Okay, <laughs> see you in a bit. <laughs> I'm doing this world quest and recording it right on the side because uh, of the event. But this is so incredibly cool. I love that you can fly around as this little thing. I wish you could gather fish and stuff. It'd be nice. But this is actually so cool. Damn. Oh, soaring through the sky. What another achievement? I don't even know what I did. <laughs> there you go. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Uh, don't be scared. It is still me. I know I sound very different. I recorded the start of this with my old microphone, and now I have a new one, so uh, I sound a lot different. Anyway, I'm sorry about that. We're back at this very pretty place, and we can finally keep going with this world quest. I think we have quite a bit to go still. I was looking at the journal here. Uh, Kvarena of good and evil, and we need to do, first of all, find Mihir, and second of all, find Rashnu. So uh, I think we're gonna start with Mihir, and there's gonna be an explanation for the exploration mechanics, I assume, which I need to follow, <laughs> because this is what we're doing soon. The newest patch was announced. Um, where? Look for the objective in this area. Mm-hmm, cool. <laughs> Uh, are you sure we're going the right way, Sarush? Stop making such disgraceful noises. Why would I lead you wrong? Or would I? Hmm, <laughs> Pale Floater. You could stand to learn from our Yasnapati. Oh, I forgot about all these names. <laughs> and our unflinching calm. Uh, to be honest, I'm somewhat on the nervous side as well. Exactly. Just looking at that big, big mass of stuff over there is pretty scary already. Such trivial trials. 
They pale in comparison to the sacrifice that I must suffer up later. Oh yeah, it wanted to sacrifice itself, true. But it was unnecessary. Ah, I misspeak. You, pale floater, are not as bold as my Yasnapati. But perhaps one may consider retreating at the slightest sign of danger. A wise choice. Right, that's right. Uh, but Adnas is in charge of being brave, while Paimon's all in charge of being smart. <laughs> that's why we make the best buddies after all. Nice going, buddy. <laughs> right? Paimon thinks I was a good re rejoinder, too. But I did not give your give you your title for naught, yes, Napati. Do not give praise unto my bravery more. Really? I don't know how you... how. Do give praise unto my bravery more, pray. It just, I wish it spoke like a normal person. Well, but Edna's has known Paimon longer. When she's not being your Yesnapati, there's nothing wrong with her sparing some time to praise Paimon. Anyway, don't sweat the small stuff, Sorush. You're not really doing anything that especially, that especially needs praising right now, are you? My great work is not for the present, but the future. Still, at this very moment, you're being given the privilege to witness where it all begins. Well, if you say so. Speaking of which, we're here to find Mihir, that foolish familiar of thorns. She must be suffering right now. Wait, is she trapped in here? Then we gotta go save her. The power of the purple mist beneath us shares a source with the demons of death. Mihir's task should have been to keep such wicked powers from running rampant, rampant upon this area. Under the sign of Apolsha, the powers of the two forces warring here ebb and flow. We Pari should be dauntless. Willing to fight, uh, willing to fight, we, <laughs> willing to fight till we ourselves are torn to shreds. The Mihir? <laughs> I shouldn't wonder if she searches for some way to protect herself even now, conducting some loath loathsome struggle. Wait, aren't you allies? Are you really going to leave a fellow putty to her fate like that? Cold-hearted cold little putty. You wouldn't be unable to rescue your comrade by any chance, would you? The Aranata do help each other, that's true as well. Ha, huh, maybe you're right. The problem could very well be something not even Sorush can solve. It is a difficult matter, saving me here. Perhaps I might even call it trivial, <laughs> every time. But we Pari have our mission, and we also have different ideals. She must have found some position equal in seclusion and defensibility, before using a grey gate to seal both the demons and herself in. If she could still move freely, <laughs> she would be like that Kfarena, begging for aid and Prost prostrating herself? I don't think that's the right term. Before all and sundry to earn pity. I mm -hmm. I know what all of that meant. Can Kvarena even pro <laughs> Can they do this? Maybe if they try hard enough. You plebeians miss the point. I clearly do, but also you just speak in fucking riddles. I hate you. <laughs> all the same, the state of this place tells me that she shall not hold out long by herself. How pitiful. Ha, <laughs> what a horrible sight. To be as Mihir is, corroded by filth, falling from a spotless to a sinful state, yet desperate to preserve herself, had the Elder not bade me come. Heh, <laughs> so after all that, you do care. Hardly. I merely wish to see if that useless fool has any regrets or not. If she turns back to us and accepts our aid, then perhaps I shall spare her for a moment or two. Or spare her a moment or two. After all, the flower, the star of songs of praise, Star of the Songs of Praise <laughs> shall seem less radiant if the green leaves are not there to serve as its foil. The following labor shall be little, but it is still a radiant shard. Yes, Napati mine. <laughs> Record it down with a reverent heart, and use it, and use even this mote of shattered light to grace your mighty hymn. <sighs> we can talk about the less important stuff later, Sorush. Let's figure out how to disperse that purple mist first. Less important, yes. Fuck off, Sarush. You and your stupid legacy. I don't care about your legacy. <laughs> Mere sinful form renders her unable to fulfill her duty, but the thorns remain. So, as long as I, le I lend them some of my strength, it shall only take a brief moment to scatter this purple smoke. As for the downward path, let us follow that wandering Kvarina we just saw. Well, if Sarush says sure, let's try getting closer then. Feel uncomfortable, hold your breath. Okay, Paimon. Underestimate me not, pale floater. Pill floater is annoying. Let me grab this. Yoink. So, how does this thing work? Oh, you just follow it around. I think we've actually done this during the Aranata final quest. Why did it stop? I don't know. I'm fucking dead. 
It doesn't do anything. What do we do is do something. The meager matter is nothing to worry about, though it is not in accordance. I don't know. You're going too fast for me. What did you tell me to do? Where's the little guy? Maybe I need to equip the little guy. Forgot to spend my resin. Ah, we we're just taking L's. Whoa, I have three minutes. So something's coming out. The filth has been long sailing as long as they are eradicated. The power possessed by a familiar thorn, but it can still be wielded. I don't know what you're saying to me. Here's something I can interact with, I think. Oh, I got a gun. <laughs> of course. Yeet. Yeet. Oh, this is pretty cool. I like that. Yeet. We did it. Purple mists are gone. Great. Let the Kvadanite guide you. Again. Alright, cool. That was pretty nice. I wonder if the whole exploration area will be the same as this. That would be cool. There's a Sealy trapped in purple stink as well. And scenic. Triple Sealy chest. Can't wait to get there. I think we're going to... Yeah, exactly. As expected. I saw it earlier. Here, I activate this. And then, I know, leave me alone. We get... Our gun, yeet, yeet, and yeet. Did I miss? Did these like go underwater or some shit? I did it. Bling. I like the little pling noise it does when you go back. Not a single one was left. You're awesome. If those thorns to light you so pitiful, I suggest you should be hiding pitiful grace. grace it goes way too quick. Let's go find out. All we need to do is follow the fan right. Yes. I got one chat. One thing right. Oh, it just disperses the barrier. Wow. Mir should be just ahead. Okay, Mihir, hope you're gonna have a great and long dialogue for me. So she's kinda unhappy. Well, didn't like didn't like the idea of coming here in the first place. What I do like though is getting these morning flowers. Look for me here. I'm doing my best. Where? Oh, the purple smoke is getting to me. Oh, there she is. Wait, is this Mihir? I like her little crown, the little thorns crown. Is she stuck? Seems like the purple mist has already made it all the way down here. What do we do now, Sorush? Can we just do what we did earlier? You know, give some of your power to the thorns and free her? Why, of course, I shall save her. After all, she does seem very piteous, infested with corruption and helpless as she is. This isn't the best time to throw shade on her. <laughs> exactly, we gotta save her, and quick. Yet, I have not heard her repent. I shall hear her repudiation, repudiation of her... <laughs> obduracy and her supplication for my aid you're you're just a small ball just talk like baby oh come on are you serious we don't have time for that kind of talk oh no i don't want to talk nice to her leave me alone she's just gonna work no well then if you too say so my yes napati after all fulfilling your wishes once in a while is indeed within the purview of one so exalted as I. Seriously, Paimon wishes you'd listen to her too, Sorush. It's the way you talk. You have to talk like an idiot. <laughs> Find a way to disperse it. Lovely. Alright. We start with this thing. Boop. And then we... Oh. Oh god. I will return to myself. Actually, I think I wasn't there. I think I could have just stayed in the flying thing. And I wouldn't have been able to be an I don't know if that's true or not. Quietly now. Beep boop beep boop beep boop beep boop. Coming through. Okay. Oh, that was it? Really? That's all it took? Okay. Cool. Hello me here. Here, kind of cool, with a little scar over her eye. Truly been through battles. Awesome. Are you alright, me here? Well, I suppose she's alive, if barely, and covered in sin, weakened to the extent that she may only defend herself. <laughs> wow. Good thing we arrived early and had you with us, Sorush. Sorush, Sorush. Sorush, who took humans for companions. Sorush, who lost her way. Uh, it sounds like there's a secret meaning behind her words. Yeah. I can... <laughs> Excuse me. Ah, uh, the purple mist. <laughs> Do not get near her. The less, uh, less the defilement that emanates from her touches you. It seems that she has not only forgone a heart of gratitude, but has lost her other intellect. 
<laughs> or she would not use such baseless words to reproach me. Thank you, Sorush. If not for you and your companions, I would have needed much time to gather my strength. And even then, I am unsure if I could have stood against the rising filth on my own. The sign of a potion could only be seen all too clearly. Even from the bottom of the valley, but thorns uh, can only crawl upon the ground, never to reach the sky, not even the reflection of the skies of the earth. On the earth. Hm, of course. After all, I am the one who is destined to make sacrifices and extinguish the sign. And I must add that Retnas, who is no companion of mine, nor is Paimon, she is my Yasnapati, a willing instrument recording of my great work. Yup. I'm not, why are we flexing it? I, I would call that description a few degrees off reality. That's right, we're companions, aren't we? Hmm, just saving me here isn't enough to complete what Zervan asked us to do, right? I see, so you have something to request of me, Sorush. What? Have your senses gnarled into tumbleweed during your imprisonment and departed to Tamir Mountains into the Nameless Dunes? It is by... <laughs> magnanimity. In not remembering past slights that my Yasnapati has been given the leave to record your name within the hymn that sings my praises. Your sinful form, stained with defilement, should never otherwise have appeared within those stanzas. You should thank me here, if it was not for our elder. Ah, whatever. We do this to obtain the twin horn chaplet. For that reason, you must return uh, with me to <laughs> Vorukasha Oasis. Love Kesha, good music. Speaking of which, Sorush, you keep talking about this stained with defilement and this sinful form that... What do you even mean? It is the duty of us familiars of the thorn to prevent defilement from spreading across the earth and guard against this corrosion. But when we battle against the demons of Dev, injury is nigh unavoidable. And if you have shattered in battle with them, that might have been, might have been worth a song. But stained as you are, you can hardly be counted as one of us. If it were not for... My coming to your rescue, you would likely have continued some pathetic struggle here till the world forgot about you and you utterly faded away. Those are words of the human who has befriended you, Sorush. No, it's not. What? I didn't say any of that. Oh, he is no ordinary human. This is someone else. He is the Nasu Nasuraya of the Order of Skeptics. Oh, that guy. Yeah, he's an idiot. Sounds like a matter of wounded pride. That's right. Calling someone sinful because of that. Me here, you poor thing. To do one's duty is not a pitiable act, nor is struggling to perform that duty for a while longer shameful. I agree with you. You're right. Ha! <laughs> never smile. Oh, never smile. Never mind the matter of your, our elder. I have not fallen so low as to require your judgment. Rather, it is you who should thank me for rescuing you. Hasn't she done that like six times already, Sorush? Stop yelling at an injured person. I agree. It is alright, Sorush. We'll understand. Or she will never be able to obtain the twin horse twin horde chaplet from Zervan. But, as she says, my sinful form is unacceptable in the eyes of other Pari. I cannot return to Bidabidab in this state. Merely perform a cleansing pilgrimage, and it will be well. Alright, well, that sounds cool. You need to be not so concerned about the details. Okay. Shall be little room for her in the praises that shall be sung of me. She knows this road well, but in her weak and helpless state, were she to be attacked along the way, I doubt we would be, or there will be anything left of her. Okay, so we can fix her. I'll fix her. How do we do this ritual? Why don't you help me here, Sorush? Yeah, let's do it. We're going to the location above. That's a little part of the thrones you could have just done that without our help, right? I don't know. I don't know. This is my duty, not hers. I hate this whole, like, um... Uh, what do you call it? Like, oh, I can't, I can't have help. This is... I have to do it by myself. This is how our hierarchy works. <laughs> Missions and duties all have someone they belong to. Yeah, sure, whatever. I feel like we can all just defeat the greater evil together. Look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, even the Hiller Trolls agrees. A bitter pill to swallow. A bitter pill to swallow. And my four characters work well in tandem. And we slay the enemies more easily with it. Busted. Bam. You see that? That's the power of friendship and teamwork. But in Sarah, like, nah, dude, this is my mission, dude. I'll just take the L. Come on. Come on, then, champ. Here's one of these. Pick up. 
I won't do that. Take it easy. Just in case. Actually, I might need it. <laughs> Great gate, we encountered it long ago. <sighs> yes. Can you cleanse it? Sunlight is such a pain. Only fell to sell no any, any purpose. Well, way. kinda, yeah. Now what? Do I actually need that thing? Maybe I do. Yeah, I think I do. Rid of it, please. Thank you. All right, we're outside again. This cool. Blinding sunlight is a pain. It's not that sunny here. It's actually kind of not sunny at all. <laughs> we finally out of there. We can already see the and we can also see the sign of a potion. We won't be able to relax until we manage to fix the crisis above us. That's true, but let's prioritize escorting me here on our cleansing pilgrimage so she can regain her spotless form and return to her companion's side. But isn't it awful that she's been fighting all this time, but now that she's injured, she can't even go back? Yes, Paimon, it is truly awful. One clings to life and self-protection despite being filled with such filth is unworthy of a Yasnapati's chronicle. <sighs> what are you saying? Mihir's been fighting all by herself to fulfill her mission all this time. She's been very brave. We should remember what she's done and praise her for it. Only humans require such thing as courage. We Pari have no need for it. Sodor speaks the truth. I like that. I like that. We Pari are known to, uh, or have known our purpose since birth, and we only live to serve that purpose. We do not require remembrance. Well, your friend over here wants stories written about them, so... Perhaps being forgotten might even be for the best. Uh-huh. But... If the day comes where none mention us again, then surely the entire earth must have been purged of all the calamity. Okay, fair. There will be no more sacrifice to be sung, for there will be no more sufferings to be remembered. I believe that that shall be a wonderful day. Me here? The day is yet distant. Not before I make the sacrifice. <laughs> yes, Sorush. Go, jump in a volcano, please. You should be able to get classic pilgrimage as soon as possible. You should not allow this preamble to delay us, so the protagonist of this hymn, I alone, thank you for walking this difficult path with me. I believe that the road shall be far smoother ahead. Would you like us to continue? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go together. Also fine by me. Thanks. I'm not exploring yet. You silently escort me here back to the bit bit oasis. Hello, friends. Here I am. Ooh. I love how this place looks still. This is very pretty. Is something happening? We're back. Guess your cleansing pilgrimage is done, huh, me here? And that means your defilement issues have been solved, right? I've indeed completed the cleansing pilgrimage, but it wouldn't have been done without your aid. Hmm, right. <laughs> the wind and waters are here are no good, uh, and wondrous energy circles here. Okay. For now, there is no need to worry about the defilement. Yeah, this place is sure better than that valley full of purple mist. It's definitely got that soul-purifying feeling to it. Purifying, indeed. <laughs> that was easier than Paimon thought. Now that Mihir is clear of this defilement, other Pari aren't, aren't gonna reject her anymore, right? You can finally take a rest after all that trouble you went through, Mihir. And Sorush is now closer to obtaining the chaplet as well. That's right, everyone wins, especially us who get great lore. A fitting end for Mihir, perhaps, but not for me. My ending will not be something so ordinary or peaceful, or... <laughs> are, you, are you gonna talk about your sacrifice again? Paimon isn't insignificant. Well, Froggy! Wow, that was a quick intermission. <laughs> Not that Paimon's very heavy or anything, either. Mm -mm, my end shall be glorious, radiant, like that of the divine bird Simurg, that died. I shall split into infinite modes of Kvarnena, cleansing the world of its impurity. That is which Mihir has done, or that which Mihir has done, cannot be compared to what I shall yet accomplish. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> Yet there was only one Simurk, and there is only one Sarush. True. There's no need to, to, to imitate others. Mm -hmm. My yes, Napari, it is clear you do not understand Simurk's greatness, nor do you rate the tragic vow and resolve of us Pari as you should. You speak but empty words, born of your wit whittleness, whittlelessness, witlessness. My mind is made up, my heart set, I will not be moved. Okay, bye. Have fun, I guess. I prefer the Thorns one anyway. Paimon doesn't get Sorush at all. Why does she insist on sacrificing herself to deal with the sign? And why is she so cold to me here? She superiority complex, dude. Well, the way she, uh, the way we, things look right now, me here is the one with the deeds to her name. Sorush's work is not yet complete. I'm gonna praise me here. 
Suresh hasn't done anything yet? <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> that's true. Hmm, if you think about it, Mir's been doing her best to protect the line from corruption, but Surush, I'd say she's pretty anxious about that. Paimon kind of gets it now. Surush is worried that if you praise me here, we won't do the same for her afterwards, so she wants to do something even greater. Oh, come on. Isn't she just afraid that Mihir will steal the Yasnapati? Yeah, sure. She doesn't need to worry about that. We're born flat... <laughs> flatterers, aren't we? Let Paimon think. Let's put four lines of praise for Sorush in that hymn, or whatever she's always going on about, and do for me here. We're not actually writing this, are we? That way everyone wins. Sure. Sure. Like a morning sun coming out of some, I don't know, some mirror. Science scene knows that they were comforting you. Yes, they're pretty. I like it. Per responsibility, Sorush. No, I, I know all about this. I've heard it a hundred times, and I probably will another hundred times as well, so. Awakenings, real sound. So now we go look for Rashnu. 700 meters further. Indeed, what is this? Pills? <laughs> the hills of Barsum. <laughs> the pills of Barsum? It's just a giant clinic. Oh, okay. This tree, I remember this. I did during, I did an event here, actually. Which is why I started this whole quest initially. It's kind of like that tree. Oh, here's this guy. Wait, you're a Rashnu? There's no way. I thought it was another... No, it's not. It's you, Nasiyuna. What are you doing here? Ah, honored envoy of Parena. And you too. Ah, our Yasnapati and her companion, I suppose. Ha, just call us Rednos and Paimon. Since I've been given such permission, then allow me to call you by those names. Do you remember what I mentioned earlier about how we skeptics have always been searching for the Kori drums? Drums. Uh, it was about them being important for items for some ritual or something, yeah? Well... Well, I can see that the proper terms were not remembered. That is the essence of the matter, yes. The two of you have been acknowledged by the Kvarena's envoy, and yet you know little of our glorious history. I fear you may be led astray by heresies and hetero... <laughs> heterodoxies from the forest. Allow me, then, to explain the true history of Barsom... Story time, is it? Joy! <laughs> This is no idle yarn to be told after tea. It is the tale of our meeting with the party, <laughs> the scions of the divine bird, and the long years of war we have endured here, in this land thereafter. Uh, Paimon would prefer the idle yarns in that case. Long ago, our predecessors worked to quell the disaster that occurred in this land, and formed profound friendship with the party. Barsom's familiar had a preference for music, so we crafted Kori drums for her. During the ceremony where our bonds with the party were made official, five drums had to be gathered and played according to scores. Scores? Is that right? Though the Kori drums are long lost, the drum scores have been or have withstood the corrosion of the sandstorms. As you can see, they've been almost perfectly preserved. Words shall nary describe the true magnif magnificence of that occasion when the Kori drums sounded all things reverberb in unison. It felt as if their sound could freely traverse space and time. Those who witnessed it were all shaken to the core. Even the elements themselves were stirred. Oh, sounds very lively. It's just a shame that we skeptics failed to pass on our legacy, resulting in a loss of the Kori drums. And however loudly we cried out, Barsom's familiar would never again utter a word in response. Barsom's familiar? Is this Rash Rashnu Sarush mentioned before? Is that who we're talking about? But why would she respond to the Order of Skeptics' call? The party of the Order of Skeptics will value tradition and ceremony, so there is routine to our actions. They talk about tradition, but then they lost their drums. <laughs> this is hardly a peaceful land. That such things uh, happen is a little surprise. Hmm, okay. Seems like getting Rashnu back to the Vavhirva Oasis with us won't be easy. Well, do we actually have to go get drums? That is so. We will need to collect the Kori drums and play them accordingly to the score, really. Thankfully, I've never once given up searching the lost drums. I've been gathering the relevant clues before your arrival. Well, that's wonderful. There's no need to flatter me. After all, if Arideva had not... Uh, my apologies. I refer to an elder amongst the older or order of skeptics who left for Sumeru City to work on his light novels. <laughs> the dratter things. This heavy responsibility would not have fallen onto me otherwise. He became a light novelist? He rambled on about how warring against the Yai Publishing House editor and opponents in Genius Invocation TCG should still be considered war. <laughs> what a nerd. But if you ask me, he's just turning into a ridiculous old geezer. 
but he's still an elder who knows more about our heritage than I do, so I have to ask him for information regardless of any disagreements we might have. He's reluctant to answer any questions that don't have to do with the light novels and card games, though. It took me three whole questions to receive a single reply. Wow. Anyway, it took me a great deal of effort just to gather these clues about the Quoddy drums. Yay, new clues! But, Nasiyuna, if you had the clues all along, why didn't you go look for the Quoddy drums yourself? That's an easy one to answer. But, Ethnos, it seems like you're not in possession of a vision. That's right, I'm not. And yet, you're capable of bending the elements to your will. What an enviable gift. Unfortunately, I wasn't blessed with such a gift. So, it is good that you are here. I mean, we could save quite a lot of trouble for Lady Sorush with your help. Otherwise, I would have to make other arrangements. <laughs> but just as I said before, it seems even fate is on my side. Lady Sorush and you two, please, come with me. Hidden treasures may be found closer than we think. Really now. So, there's drums, but they're protected by enemies. That's going to be my guess. I hope that's what it is, anyway. I feel like they can't really make us spend a hundred thousand years on all these. That's strange. There's no path here at all. Seems like you're not that good of a guide, I see, you know. There are signs of rockfall. I know. And there's a little green thing right here, so we're gonna bring that along, I bet. But you may leave this to me, everyone. This problem requires a little spark to solve. Ha, <laughs> yes. For safety concern, please stand back a bit. Let's see, you know, cleans the stone crevice before putting a small package inside that he's definitely gonna blow up. He fills the gap back up and retreats to a safe distance, lights the fuse. The large rock blocking the way splinters into smaller pieces, and when the dust finally clears, a gray gate appears in its wake. <laughs> well, that's it for those stones blocking the way. Wait, why is there still a gate? <laughs> There's always another gate to go through, huh? Mm-hmm. Sorry, I had to take a sip. Uh, we used to be able to pass through. As for breaking the seal in this great gate, we will need your help, you two. Well, I guess that falls to us. I mean, if if he says you two, probably. Isn't this just the exact... Oh, okay, hello. That is what I expected. But not here and now? I did it. They're all dead. Search for clues, dude. Just get this thing. Yeah. I think it was going the wrong way. I was like, wait a second. Wait a second, Fred. I need you here, not there. There's a little Dendra icon here as well. Turn it on. <laughs> get him, cat. It didn't work. Oh, it bloomed. How cute. Anyway, we're in. And there's... Some really cool lights hanging from the ceiling. Something buried beneath the sand piles. How about we take a closer look? Damn it. Damn it, I don't have no animal in my party. I'll go here. There you go. I, there's no animal in this party either. <laughs> I'm sorry, Candace. We go with... Benty. You know what? I never play Shao in Story Quest. Here you go. Shao enjoyers. Oh, lovely. Oh, just wonderful. It's fine. We get to play Ningguang. Gotcha. I want him to buff Geo. I'm still mad about it. Geo is so underwhelming and so far behind on everything. Yay. Yay. Denro is so strong. Ooh, look at that. It's it's a... Wait, I don't remember what they're called. They're called a... A... A <laughs> drum. I don't remember. This place is full of great crystals. What? Nasiuna takes a look around before collecting some scattered records. It's not too far from what I expected. The mechanism that sealed the dendro drum was once here, but it's been destroyed. There are even some notes here that show where the other Kodi drums might be found. Kodi drums, that's the one. Oh, wow. After scouring the land for days, I finally found the Kodi Bantes. Alas, I lack the strength to retrieve them. As such, I will record their locations here. <clears throat> There's no detailed information on the key of the contents of the ritual, or the key contents of the ritual. I've drawn the following inter inter inferences from a comprehensive review of the current body of research. <laughs> Firstly, the element of the Kodibandas matches the element recorded on the drum score. This is obvious and requires only a rudimentary, rudimentary understanding. Animal and geodrums do not exist. The reason for this merits further investigation, probably because animal and geo... Here, this is actually what I was on about geo. They react with the elements 
But if dendro reacts with them first, animal geo useless. Secondly, the meaning behind the rotation or the notation. The notation may be divided in three categories: half or empty, half full, or in full. The hypothesis is that the musical notes refer to three types of rhythms, namely pause, light, and heavy. Thirdly, the order of reading, unable to be determined, a philosophy drum is found, one can try to read it in the usual order, which is from left to right and top to bottom. <laughs> the usual order. The Western European order. As the elders put it, when the Cody drums were lost in a single night, the order of skeptics was overcome with great grief. Losing the drums meant losing the bridge that connected them to Barsum's familiar, and from then on, the young were never able to listen to her teachings. This was a grave incident indeed. Great efforts were made by all to search for the drums thereafter, but the gains were made due to the obstruction posted, or sorry, but few gains were made due to the obstruction posed by the defiled energies. According to the elders, this is one of those old locations. But, as you have seen, those without the power to combat the brute might of defilement, those who cannot wield the elements, and those who have obtained the trustful Kavana's envoy, are unable to reach this place. Adadeva also attempted to retrieve the Dendro drum here in his youth, but he did not succeed, and has been silent about the matter ever since. Why are we looking at a bell? A sense of responsibility, perhaps. Or was it pride that closed his mouth? Probably pride. You know, when you said the Order of Skeptics had a terrible relationship with the academia, Paimon thought you'd just all stay here. Not, a, uh, not that there's that big hole in the sky, never mind not coming back to help out. Don't you think it's kind of weird that he just he's just over in Smeri City writing his novels and playing cards? Perhaps he, can achieve his in, uh, perhaps he can achieve in fantasies what he could not in reality. You mean writing the story of his failures into a light novel but changing the ending? How's that supposed to solve a real-life problem? People need hope in their lives, even if it isn't real. Well, Paimon thinks that sticking together is our best chance of fixing this skyhole problem. It concerns Sarush too, after all. Heh, <laughs> your concern, Paimon, is rather wasted on one destined for, <laughs> for so grand sacrifice as I. Or perhaps I should say that evaluating the choices and fates of others is itself an overly prideful act. Fair. I'm gonna help, help, no, whatever. We're just here to complete a commission. <laughs> Should we be saying we just can't let you be? Yeah, I can. But I am just here for a commission. Forgive my saying so, but such thoughts might be a bit unprofessional for adventurer and specialists. Regardless, now that we know where the Cody drums are specifically, we just need to retrieve them all. Although the trial here has been destroyed, that may not be the case in other places. Or they are, they are or not, shall be little issue. Let us leave that task to my Yasnapati. This should be no issue. Okay, of course. We're professionals, you know, says small Paimon that barely fits in frame. In that case, you can find the other Cory drums, as long as you follow these notes. I leave that to the two of you. Good luck. Alright, sure. Record the drums on the score on the wall, we'll definitely need them at some point. So I also need to take pictures of the stuff on the wall? Is that just... Oh my lordy, there's a lot. Alright, give me a bit. Alright, here we go. I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to post a video because uh, it was time. So it looks like most of these drums might just be in local areas. Never mind. They are just they're just uh, the the scores of what is this half full, half full, full, half 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 full. full. That was easy. Pawn has to memorize. I mean, if you haven't memorized, I'm not gonna remember it. Okay. Rupa. I got Rupa. I'm just gonna beat up a bunch of dudes that are here on touristic previews. Oh, you don't even have to. Let's take some notes. You do it. I'm not taking any notes. This Hydro. I didn't see what it was. Oh. Samina. Samina. Samina, Mina, Zamina, Mina, And this would be Pyro. What is Pyro called? The drum's right here, by the way. <laughs> Can I have the drum? Or is this a budget one? Hello? I guess we'll never know. Music. Useless. Useless. Uh, I think I think music has a use. Minute, 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 minute. It's time for Africa. Not a song stuck in my head. And this one is Electro, Sankara. Of course. Uh, they made it pretty bearable. They I even add a little stars and whatever. Yeah, gotcha. Boop. And we have here Cryo, Vedana. So we have. I don't know which one we got in the cave. I think it was Dendro. And we already had um, a different one. <laughs> Damn it, I keep, keep doing that. Which one do we have? We found Dendro 
And we had, no, we had dendros, sorry, from the start, from the get-go. I don't remember what we found. Was it? I, don't, I genuinely already forget. Yes, lovely undergrounds. This will be pain to explore. It's fine. We move in. Oh, and there's gonna be trials, is there? Lovely. <laughs> Here's that bell. Someone do it the water. Commence trial. Oh, this is fine. Is it fine? Is there something like an invisible bridge? No. What are gonna I don't know. Where are the devices? Doesn't work. Hmm. I probably have to be the little flying guy. Why is this one red? Oh, and you can't get them? Can you swim? What? Do I have to maybe use it on this? And, oh, interesting. Okay. Well, I'm gonna reset this because I wasted a lot of time. But it looks like I can grab that little lotus flower thing. I forgot the name. And I can move it to my heart's desire. Wonderful. Challenge failed. <laughs> and, and I can't exit it now? What does that make me fail it? <laughs> what do you mean? Oh. Wait, that's so confusing. It's still there. Sure. I don't know if that's how it's supposed to work. There's most certainly better ways to do it, but it's working. More. I don't know why I got a loading screen last time. Maybe I was, like, just too far away. Something like that. Hey, it's fully drained. We did it. Challenge complete. Here's, uh, maybe they're just random drums. They're just cheapo drums that people are like, yeah, 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 this will work. This will do fine. Oh, no, not the hydro slimes. Oh my god, it's the drum of Hydro. Yeah, fair enough. Like the Samina Mina Zangalewa. It's time for Africa drum. I don't even have to kill these guys. I don't know why I'm doing this. Oh no. Yeah, I thought you were gonna cuss at them, Ning. You dastardly witch. Okay, I'm out. Samina Mina Zangalewa. I need to stop. It's time for Africa. Which one would this be? The next drum. Let's see it. I mean, there is no Geodrum, otherwise I would have always said Geo. Electro. <laughs> I will guess. Why is there a storm here? Because we're in the Electro domain. Give up. You're out of here. Do you get stuff? You don't get stuff. That was it? I just get the drum? Boom, boom, boom. Maybe if I jump on it, it makes a rhythm. Rhythm of the night. No, it doesn't work. Sankara. Thanks. Ooh, I've never been there. It's probably underneath, though. And the waypoint's up. No, it is up, it seems. All right, well, I'll see you when I'm there. We've made it. I think this is pyro, perhaps, because this bell looks pretty red. Bright, light up all flame altars. I must understand what the flame altars are in the first place. These? Oh, probably these. I see. There's seven of them. <laughs> How do you find them? But this is checkpoint, then, so I can, like, stick here for a while. Because it's going to relight my thing all the time. It's mostly that I don't know where I'm looking. Does this count as a failure? That wasn't easy at all. I mean, I didn't see where the next thing was. I see one up there now. That's two. There's seven. There's another one. There's another one. I'm at four. I guess maybe around here. This is going to be trial and error. I'm going to be doing this a million times over. This way, keep close. <laughs> No way, you're- you, you, seriously, I'm this bad? You're actually just telling me where to go? Can't believe it. I'm not keeping close. I'm not- I'm doing this without you, friend. Four? I'm still looking for more of them. There's one up there, one here, and I'm needing- I'm one short. Uno mess. But where? Nah. Nah, but... There it is. Run, Yelan. Run. Yeah, let's go. I did it without the help of the party, which I'm happy about. No cheating here. And the final drum already. That went by quicker than I thought it would. And then we need to free someone by playing the rhythm. Hick pulso. Dude, same. I was gonna say that too, actually. Crazy how we thought that at the same time. No time to lose. We must return to bra 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 Alright. I'm returning to bra 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 Ooh. No. <laughs> no stretching and it popped. Blinding. This blinding no sun. No way I can get a nap in this weather. It's really not that blinding here, I feel. I feel like you're complaining a little bit. Hello. Oh, I'm past this. I'm running. You need to put the quality drums back in their original places before drumming the piece according to the scores on the stone walls, right? Adashi will definitely be happy to answer when he, she hears our favorite music. Do excuse my presumption, but the ritual that bound the Order of Skeptics to the party is of great significance. I think it would only be proper if the Oasis Skeptics regulation to preside over it. Yeah, whatever, dude. Sure, you can preside over it. I don't care. I don't want any credit. Just do it. We were the ones who got all the five quality drums. Even if your lady Sorushis is not putty, I believe this would be out of line. Or should I call this prideful presumption upon her favor? 
They used Sarushi Skafarina's envoy. She might have behaved more amicably to the two of you on account of your aid of fulfilling her destined mission. Yet, this is but a manifestation of her virtue, and do not credit any of yours. And not any credit of yours. <laughs> do not forget your place. Give praise and stand in awe of her every action as you should. Uh, what do you say? Uh, that's what you say. But when, even though Sarush always acts high and mighty, Paimon doesn't think she's all that great, or that distance from us. <laughs> That does not sound like something that shall be written to a hymn of praise. Well, I'd say it's praise enough by Paimon's standards. Well, what about you then? Do you desire? Do you want to play the Kori drums and awaken the familiar? Yes. I'm not a bad performer. <laughs> Cooking, combat, errand, espionage, we can do it all. This is definitely way easier than extinguishing the sign of a Posha. We're not going to trip up here. Yet another adventurer as you remain. Rough folk for the out of the outdoors. It would be best if I handle such critical matters related to her history and traditions as this. Okay, dude. Nasuraya, she is the Yasnapati I have chosen, and now willingly she serves. Will you bar her path? I I have no reason to doubt your decisions, astute as they are. Astute. That is concluded. Speak no more. <laughs> what a polite way to say, shut the hell up. Come on. Uh, come, this momentous task is yours. Sure. I have no fear, you are my Yasnapati after all. If you say so, Sarush, then leave this to us. Just relax, Nasiyuna. We know the Kori drums are very important. Then that's not going to ruin them or anything. Oh, you just wait. You just wait. Tell me I don't have to actually match them. Okay, cool. Koribantis. Cryo marking. Videna. Check drum score. I think it's like half full, empty, half full, full. But I think all the drums need to be in place first. Do they? Let's just do it anyway. Uh, half empty, half full. Begin performance. <laughs> what? Challenge failed. Why are you so enthusiastic about me failing the challenge game? Here's another one. San Sankara. Wonderful. Uh, Rupa. Yes. Samina. Samina. I don't know how to pronounce it neatly. And finally, Vijnana. Lovely. And now we can do it. So check drum score. Half, 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 full. Begin. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> half, 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 full. Half. Huh. <laughs> I don't know what to press. <laughs> Check drum score. Uh. <laughs> half, 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 full. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Huh. <laughs> hey, that was pretty good. <laughs> uh, bada big. Wait till it glows. Bada boom. Wait till it glows. Bada bing. Oh, wait. We wait. Now it's half. Damn it! I felt like it, it was making sense. Bang. Wait for the glow again. Bang. Wait for the glow again. Bang. And then we need to wait for the glow, but we wait a little bit longer. Bang. Hmm. Let me try the other one. Maybe this will help me figure it out. Half. Full. Empty. Full. Okay. Half. <laughs> How do you do it? Drum. Uh, help. H for help. How do you do this again? G for guide, perhaps? Drum. Oh, Cory drum. It says right there. Drums were great, but da, 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 da. three ways of hitting these drums. Normal attacks will create a light sound. Plunging attack. Plunging. Stay still to create a pause. Okay. Empty is pause, half is light, and ha okay. Read the scores left to right, top to bottom. I was I got that far. So it's a plunge. Good thing we read. So this one would be normal, normal, normal plunge. Cool. Begin. Normal. Normal. <laughs> normal. Plunge. You're actually imbued by wind, I just realized. So you don't even have to parkour. Hey, that makes it a lot easier, doesn't it? Punch. No, it was a plunge again. Fuck. <laughs> a half. And another plunge. Hey, that we're talking, baby. How about this one? No, I did check. Drum. Uh. Pause. Fuck. <laughs> drum, 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 plunge. Plunge. 
Bung, dung, dung. I'm playing the drums by myself on five different drums at the same time. How skillful is that? Punch, pause, punch, plunge. <laughs> what a tongue twister. Punch, pause, and so steady. Punch, plunger, plunger. Wonderful. Did I miss one? I walked past one like a numbnut. I come back here. And this one is punch, pause, punch, plunge. We just did that. Yes, the ritual. Or nothing. Or just don't make any noise. Fine by me. Snore, snore. <laughs> Hello? Ah, bar some. I love this one. It looks so cool. I love it. Answer a call. She must be Rashnu. Don't you think she seems kind of tired, though? Looks like we might need to help her out somehow. This is Rashnu indeed, but perhaps we could have a nice meal. <laughs> That's right. Grub. Meat, veggies, sweet, salty. Oh, what should we get? Actually, hang on. Do Putty even enjoy human food at all? Perhaps a repeat performance might do. So noisy. So sleepy. I like this one. It has a cute heart as well on the forehead. But I kind of thought this might go differently, you know? Like moving a reunion many years. Not gonna happen? You are Sarush? I recognize you. Oh, she's my fave. That's right. This is Mayasna Putty, Rednas, and her companion, Paimon. And that is the Narada Order Skeptics. The Skeptics? Yasna Putty. Oh, I do not wish to know about these human affairs. <laughs> Humans and their drums are so noisy. I threw them into different places I could sleep in peace. <laughs> With all the misunderstanding? Well, that's one huge misunderstanding, wouldn't you say? Even Paimon doesn't do that. How? But our documents record us so this very clearly. Nor did Lady Sarush say anything against this. You must have slumbered too long here, Rashnu, mulling your memory of these affairs. Surely you scattering the Koribantes was meant to select those who might clear the trials. With those who could not solve such small problems providing or proving unfit to call themselves Yasnapati, for how they would aid me in my great work of extinguishing the sign of Aposha. The sign. Ugh, I'm so tired. But this is not the time to sleep. Yes, you see. That does oh wait, this is this is us. Truly deserves that of Yasnapati. She's helped me immensely, but her help alone is not enough. But Ashnu. I need yours as well. Ah, uh, I get it. It was Zervan who... She too approves of me, of course. Alright, Rashnu, will you come to me with the... Or come with me to the Varushripta Oasis? Uh, well, it's not impossible. Barsum's familiar. Please wait. I have many queries regarding the skeptic's traditions. Human business. Later, perhaps. We can talk later. Perhaps after I... Sleep a bit. <laughs> Maybe then. <laughs> I like her. <laughs> That's what I am. Do you not have any, any other things to attend to? We can save your business with Rashnu for another day. Yes, I will return to camp to accomplish that which I should. You know, Pama kind of feels bad for Nasiuna right now. I'm afraid this isn't something we can butt into. Yeah, Nasiuna and Sarush have known each other for a long time. They can settle this stuff between them, can't they? Whatever the case, if you'll come with us to the Varshanu Oasis, Rashnu Sarush will be, <laughs> will be one step closer to getting the chaplet. Together? Now? Yeah, let's go. Going together with humans? Ah, uh, alright. What is this what is this hate for, huh? There's no need. A hey, achievement again, the tree on the hill, Zurvan. Looking like a little baby. Well now, if it isn't Sarushin or Yasnapati. Uh, you sure did come back quickly, and while this might sound rude, you have exceeded my expectations. I don't think so. I'm fine with that. Hmm. Why would it be foolish of uh, foolish me here, ignorant Rashnu? I have personally saved them and brought them back to her sea of flowers. You'll see me in a different light now, I trust, Elder. Uh, Paimon think it's more accurate. Thinks it's more accurate to say that we save them too together. Let us put in tons of work. Hmm. You speak too much. I was planning to elevate you too to the position of my Yasnapati, but <laughs> but if you'll be so petty, pale floater, it seems I must reconsider my decision. Whoa. Actually, never mind. Who wants to be your Yasnapati anyway? Now, it may seem strange to say so, but I believe myself and my Yasnapati to be the same root and stem. Indivisible. And just as the heroes of legends, or heroes of legends should have many helpers, my Yasnapati's work shall also count for my glory. It also goes without saying that a putty who shall do such a supreme deed as I did, or as I, will not peddle in the foolishness that is stealing another's credit. Therefore, Yasnapati mine, feel free to add your deeds to the hymn and thus, <laughs> shall my great deeds seem all the greater for it. We're taking this a bit far, I feel, uh, Sarush. 
That's right, we're quite used to you talking like this, Sorush, but Seraphon's right over there looking at us like a bunch of idiots. <laughs> um, then let us not speak of things unrelated. Just as I agreed before, Elder, you can give me the twin horn chaplet now, yes? Well, we did, but I can't give you the chaplet. Wait, are you going back on your word? <laughs> now, the chaplet is a symbol of Kvedev's recognition. How could it be given away based on private whims? Amidst the countless modes of Kvedev created by the transformed divine bird, only we Pari have been blessed with intelligence. It is thus that we are able to communicate with the remaining consciousness within the mother tree and guide the power of Kvarena. But not all Pari may possess such authority. Only the bloom guards, those who prove worthy successors to divine birds... Is that the divine bird right there? Aspirations have the courage to see uh, that wish through. May gain the chaplet, the crown that contains wisdom. Come then, pray along, we, uh, along with me the, to the invincible Kvarena. If you've been acknowledged, then our god will grant you the chaplet herself. Really? Zurvan recites or recites the words of an ancient hymn, and Surush joins her. It is as if a thousand birds sing at once, and as if a hundred flowers respond. Cutscene? Maybe? It feels very cutscene-like. Cutscene moments. Oh! You got the hat. <laughs> hey, look at that, Surush! Upgraded Surush! Having from connection. Whoa! I couldn't see any the, too many things happen at once. Ooh, so the chaplet just grows out of your head. Well, this didn't go as we thought, but I guess you've got your twin horn chaplet now, Sarush. You look much more reliable than before. Haha, <laughs> of course. I'm the destined bloom guard, after all. I like it. Now, I need only offer myself as a sacrifice to extinguish the sign of a potion. Ah, uh, and there you go, ruining our impression of you right away. But since you got the chaplet, Surush, we can now go find out that great Song of Kvaran thing, right? Pai remembers Nasiyuna saying that we'll need this to collect enough of those great songs if we want to perform the rite of his, and then we can pass through the darkness. But who knows if his words can be relied on or not? I don't think so. This is the rite of Chinvat. Now, uh, is this Nasiyuna you speak of from the Order of Skeptics? Yes. The thing that any human remembers that right. I thought it had been lost. I did once travel alongside human heroes to cross the darkness through the right and cleanse the impurities tainting the mother tree. Was this 500 years ago? Hey hey, looks like it wasn't mistaken then. But when that happened, I was the only one who personally used the Kvarena to repair the seal that held the darkness at bay. Later, I was the one who fused with the strongest Kvarena collected there into five great songs, which I used to purify the land. The skeptics should not should not have knowledge of the Great Song's existence if they relied merely on their traditional records. Maybe Nasiyuna is just that interested in researching documents? Maybe there are some documents he found elsewhere that you don't know about, Zervan. That would make him all the more suspicious. As I understand it, there are indeed others who would have been interested by the Great Songs. All the same, with you there, I believe such small matters should be no obstacle. In any case, Sorush has only just obtained the chaplet and cannot collect enough Kvarena. If we wish to conduct the Rite of Chinvat now, we will need the power of the Great Songs. At that time, after I first scattered the monsters that had invaded our Sea of Flowers, the Great Songs were scattered across the land. Only one was hidden by me within the waters of Sun Sunyata Lake here, kept away for a future time of need. Now that Sarush has obtained the authority to touch the Great Songs, you can go. You can first go to obtain this one. As for the rest, you shall have to seek them out yourself. Lovely. <laughs> Safeguard them well. Do not let them fall into the hands of suspicious people. I would also ask you to take care of Sarush for me. Though she may have obtained the acknowledgement of the Kvarena, I fear that wisdom and intelligence have never been prerequisites for becoming a bloom guard. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wow, this is actually kind of far. Yoink, give me that health. Wait, I don't have a bite in the party. Never mind. Squirrel, look at the baby squirrel. I like this. This is going to be fun. I'm definitely saving this for a lot. Leave me alone. Okay, I'm sort of sh should recognize it. Yeah, probably, but we're not exploring right now. Whoa! Who's this? Safana. I don't think we've talked yet. Oh! Is this the power of darkness? <laughs> Such terrible strength and resistance may be futile. Put yourself together, Safana. What's all this fear and trembling? Do my eyes deceive me? It's you, Sister Sarush. You're back. Ah, the Sienna flowers are saved. I've been waiting for so long. Hope has finally arrived. You won't leave again, right? <laughs> Make up for your failings and pursue the great task of extinction in the sign of a post. Surely remember to eliminate the dark erosion of all the flower ponds. Remember to find account of your failings. I know it's my fault. Wow. Sister, but you don't think your big sister is too strict? Ah, oh, she's so unlovable. Such immaturity. It is 
It is the duty of one senior to give pointers to their juniors. This is true. No! I knew that was going to happen. I wanted my butterflies. I should bring some more. Equally, encourage me more than teach me. Instead to follow the human custom of addressing one's elders when it comes to her to show my respect. That's kind of cute. If I can't imagine Saru's getting lectured by another putty and still calling her sister after that. Preposterous. So, the flowers. Right, sister. Does you have the not understand much about Sanyata flowers? Perhaps I can introduce them on behalf of the elders. It was a party who once sang thus. This coalesces the color and miraculous sign of life, flowing as prayer of life. Linger here with me, dance and sing with me, let us weave lasting joy. And I've forgotten the rest. <laughs> nice. Spent too much time guarding the encroachments of my defilement, my exhaustion is clouding my mind. Don't push yourself too much. Sure. Well then, let me think. Through the Sanyata flowers are not most precious things, they are exceedingly dear companions to our people. I don't understand what I'm doing. The quest didn't tell me to talk to this person. <laughs> the human growing up alongside this creature that go meow meow and woof woof. Cats and dogs? That's how it is. Hmm. You know, if Pan won't have one of those as a pet for a while, and to God's sake, Pan will be very sad too. Yeah, good point. I understand the I understand the comparison. What a shallow course analogy. No, it was great. The importance of Sanyata flowers is far beyond such. Your choice of words still requires some work, Stefano. No need to be so picky. Time to save the pets! <laughs> Thank you all very much. Not only have trouble with Sister Lucia, great, yes, the party, you know, from the meeting to prepare some gift for you in return. Interesting. Well, it wasn't my intent to get, like, a tutorial about this, but we did. Maybe it was something we'd have to do in the future anyway. So we have to, like, take care of the flowers, which are important for the ecosystem. Whoa! I don't even have cat box in my party, yet all these animals are still fine with me. So many butterflies, by the way. Don't cutscene me. Don't cutscene me. Nice. Still don't cutscene me. Nice. There was one more I thought. I lost it. Oh, no, I got cutscene. Boom! Whoa! The song! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> okay. I guess. Whoa! Something weird came out from the lake. Is that a great song of Kfarena? You know, it looks kind of cute, actually. It's a lot bigger than the Kfarena we've seen previously. Maybe we could just call it Great Kfarena for short. Pama didn't know something this cute could be as good as cleansing the ritual- or cleansing the impurities, though. Surush is much the same. Well, aesthetically, perhaps. We've got another powerful cutie on our side here, don't we? <laughs> Pleasing to the ear, those words are not. But I shall take it that you praise my majesty nonetheless. <laughs> Yes, the great song of Kvena, not really. Physical manifestation of the Kvena's might, collected and infused by the first putty within the flowery sea, used to cleanse the land of impurity. Nice rhymes. The power of Kvena creates a barrier in its area. Only a putty with the two-horned chaplet can touch them, so Rush, with the chaplet, may use her power to collect them. Oh, I have to reassign it, because it's gone. It is now a new one. Go, Sorush with the chaplet. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> well, that's one great, great Kvarena done. Now we just, uh, wait a moment. We don't know where the rest are, do we? No need to fret. I already commanded Nasurayat regarding this matter. He knows where the other four may be found. Oh, only him to guide us. Perfect. Do you doubt my judgment? Well, Paimon just thinks Nasuna's documents aren't all that reliable. <sighs> this is different from the matter of the drums. The location of the great songs of Kvarena may not be found in consultation with the scriptic traditions, but through Nasurayat's own painstaking studies. Apart from the ones locked within the ruins, I have personally checked the rest. There will be no errors. Be assured, Pale Floater. I am destined to Bloomguard now. Would I make such mistakes? Alright then. Paimon's not very assured, mind you. But we can always go ask Nasiyuna first and stuff. <laughs> Didn't he say he'd meet us at the camp? Such considerations are unnecessary. Thank you, Sorush. Thank you, thank you. Yours is simply to follow me and record mine accomplishments. Alright. You're right. Wonderful. And we still go and talk to Nasiyuna. Bro. Really, I was convinced that we didn't have to. Especially after our god king, little queen, little floating parisara sound ass <laughs> was, no, told us that we didn't have to. He's gonna be dead, but he's dead. Oh my god, he's dead. I see him. This is a murderer. This is not the real one. Lady Sarush, your present form is most astounding indeed. 
Gazing upon your mighty form, I know in my heart you must have been crowned by the bloom guard of the putty, acknowledged by all. Startle not, human. This was my calling from the beginning. Of course, of course. Such majesty is only to be expected of the honored envoy. One who shall obtain the great songs of Kvarena and extinguish the sign of a potion. Indeed, your words are most suited to be inscribed in the hymns that shall be written in mine honor. Huh, <laughs> that's Unistar, or his usual self. Paimon's not sure how to feel about this. Ah, yes, Yasnapati. Paimon, you too deserve thanks in this matter. Though your endeavors are not but the afterglow of the envoy's mighty works, your labor in Lady Sorush's successful obtaining of her crown shall not be voided. That's not even how it went, buddy. <laughs> but we'll take this as a way of you saying thanks. Our mission is, is to search for the great songs of Kvarena, and the long-awaited rite that may be performed. Speaking of the great songs, they are inextricably linked to the destiny of us skeptics. Alright. Uh, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Didn't Zervan say that you guys shouldn't know about the Great Song's existence? Yes, it is indeed true that our ancient rites have stopped being passed down even through our order. If I had relied solely on our traditions, I suspect, I suspect that even the rite of Chinvat may still be shrouded in mystery. But I gained access to a large batch of long-lost documents from a very learned scholar. That was where I learned about the Great Songs. These documents record a great number of things that the tradition hymns or traditional hymns of our order never have never written of. That also inspired me, the desire to reform our order. That doesn't really help, you know. Your tradition's already pretty suspect. How are we supposed to trust these documents, then? They might have come out of nowhere, for all we know. Enough. These sideshows are not fit to be written in my songs. <laughs> if you so wish to tell the truth from the falsehood, then let us go and see for ourselves, rather than quibble here. I agree with that. Why, if I do not offer myself up as a sacrifice to save this land soon, those who come after may read text and suspect that I was a spirit of laxity. No, no, how could that be? I do not believe any would hold to such contemptuous thoughts. Hmm, Paimon thinks you just want us to hurry up and collect those great Kvarena songs. Wait, since when did Paimon become your translator? Hmm, to think that you, Pale Floater, should understand my thoughts best. Since it is your command, Great Envoy, allow me to lead the way. It seems that you have obtained the great songs, or one of the great songs, uh, it is just as well, then, that I have discovered the location of the remaining four. Although I have not been to those underground ruins myself, I am as familiar with them as I am with this camp. Alright, great. Keep it up, champ. You're amazing. <laughs> the songs are items that I do desire to win, especially after all that effort. Let's not speak of unrelated matters. Come with me, everyone. Alright. Alright. Three? What does it say three when there's four? There's one- it looks like there's one painful one in a cave. This is all through. Oh, never mind. Ruins. Wait, but we're missing one then, no? Alright. Give me one second. I need to be right back. Okay. Let's start with uh, Samudaya. 669. Perfect. Good choice. I believe it's the same cave as the one we found the drum in originally. Maybe. No way I can get him now. Yeah, because here's that Seedly that I ignored. And I'm going to ignore it again. At least we get to grab the butterfly this time. There's so many of those in here, which is nice. And the water's already drained, which is also nice and lovely. Alright. Ooh! I'm guessing I'm going to have to use this tech. Strange pass heals been two chapter can use and put up to cause to stop in place, which should make it easier to progress. Hold the interact skill. Oh cool. Yoink. Easiest song ever. 20 primo gems for that. I haven't lowered the water. Yeah, I know. How nice is that? Can I teleport here? <laughs> no, look at that. The door's still there. That's kind of crazy, actually. Anything else in here? No, but that's for exploration anyway. Cool. Very neat. Then we have the gate of Love that gate. Big gate. Good gate. Those wolves are definitely gonna, like, wake up, right? We're gonna, like, un unsalt the salt and the wolf's gonna beat me up. I, I just, I know it. We've been in here as well a long time ago. I don't like the spine area thing. It worries me. Find the great song of Kvarena in the caverns. I really wonder when this area is done, finally. I'll check if I have all the, um, these things. The, the, tr the triangles. I forgot what they're called. Oculi. <laughs> I really hope I have all the oculi. They're such a pain to go and find. I like this. This is nice. Oh no. Here you go. Another song. Another 20 primo gems. Great song, Kvarena. How little effect. How are you supposed to read that? There was a whole last paragraph. Thing disappeared in a second. 
I'm not Eminem. The thing is, I can't even read it out loud, but I can't even... It's not that I can't even read it out loud. Why well, I can't, but I can't even process what it says in my brain to then repeat it in short. Alright, well... Oh, no! You did not let Ning die, right? Okay, it has the strength, because this barrier looked massive. So I wasn't sure. You have to hold. This looks creepy. BTW. Oh, I was still mid-air. <laughs> Real long fall. I hear the voice of destiny summoning me forth. Yes. Probably keep a distance from these two. I don't know. What I will do, though, is clean this waypoints. I want to bet that there's like an enigmatic page somewhere here. Like here. Oh no, it's logs. This is rune golem. It's the rune golem. All right. Well, the more you know. There it is. Big golem boy. Our entrance. Okay, so this is a long one. We ended up getting unlucky. Behold, the monument of destiny is at hand. This guy. This is this was his old goal, right? He's not going to betray us. I mean to say that, as long as we open this mechanical door, we will gain access to the ruins. Huh, this is my first time entering a Darian rune, you know? It is so surprising that I might be excited. You sound so confident earlier, really. Pamela thought you must have explored loads of ruins. Well, I can't claim I have personally explored them, but with this copy of Renee's investigation notes, written as by the excellent scholar of ancient histories, it is as tough, or it is as though, uh, I were there in the flesh. Renee's investigation notes? Have you never heard of it? I thought it only such only one sequestered sequestered in a distant desert, such as I would not have heard of such brilliant scholar. These notes contain a lot of re records left by the people of Dari. According to the author, he has once discovered the knowledge that surpasses mortals in these ruins. This sounds hard to believe by the moment. Leaving that aside for the moment, now that we have these notes, entering these Darian ruins should be a simple matter. If you don't believe me, let's test this. For example, if we'd like to open this device... Oh, there we go. Turn the gears such as all three types of runes are displayed. Ensure that the square rune is connected tri triangular rune from the bottom without changing said triangle. Okay, turn the gears such that all three types of runes are displayed. Ensure that the square rune is connected to triangular rune at the bottom. Square rune is connected to triangular at the bottom. Without changing said triangle. Where is this puzzle? Here it is. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Leave me alone. So, we need all three runes. And the square needs to be connected to the triangle at the bottom. That ain't no square, is it? That's a square. Well. <laughs> So very difficult. Alright, entering the ruins. Surprise you, did I not? Not really. Explore his ruins further first. I'm on it. Exciting. I don't know, it feels like there's so many of these big robots at Sumeru. Finally reached the heat or the heart of these ruins. That what do you mean finally? That took like a second. One amongst us has done a fair amount of research during ruins, so let me tell you about it. According to the notes I have, this was once a proving ground where Darians would con conduct research and tests. The great song of Kvena we seek is at the deepest part of this facility. If we want to reach it, we'll first have to... Uh, oh god. Notes upon the corner of these schematics, I have drawn these schematics based on the structural diagrams of the workshops left within the ruins by Conrians. The information regarding the Kvarena are, in turn, annotations I made based on a mix of site examinations and logical deductions. These Kvarena lifeforms were able to delve into underground locations where few humans might be found. Assuming that there is no herefore unknown greater power pulling their strings, we can deduce that they too, at some point, had a will of their own. Although, research into Kvarena has only just begun, I believe that the reliance on... on of this power on a specific ecology means that we need to not expend too much time looking into it. And I think these these drawings, like schemat, I think this always looks so cool. It looks so pretty. You were just saying you'd done your homework and you're fumbling about already. Well, why the makeup of these ruins is really too complicated. <laughs> things spark here. Um, I doubt anyone could understand the principles. What is sparking? Oh, there are electrical wires behind a tree. Uh, but mysterious machines that the Darians used for descriptions alone. 
Let me see, there we go. Looks like our current position is that of the control hub for the entire proving ground. If we wish to reach the Great Song, we must first activate the entire rune's control mechanism. To do so, we have to solve an energy issue. I saw it, the wires aren't connected. <laughs> Though the people of Daria are said to have been able to use the power of impurity to operate machines and masters and master monsters, it seems that these ruins don't do so. On the contrary, it seems that they used a form of energy known as azacite. Of course, it was drawn for pure elemental energy before being formed into blocks. That means as long as we find an energy block of this kind, we will be able to provide energy to these cores, after which we should be able to settle any other problems with ease. Sounds troublesome. Now, if only we could settle this through combat. <laughs> True. Raring to go, I see. That's the envoy Yasnapati indeed. In that case, I will leave the work of, research, of searching for the energy block to you. This is a set of schematics that shows the layout proving ground. I'm sure you will put it to good use. In the meantime, I'll have some other things I must examine. As such, I'll wait for you to return here with the honored envoy by your side. This shall be child's play. I know it. If you encounter any issues, just examine the schematics a bit more closely. Really? Like, for real? Like, real, real? Open sesame. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh god, I'm gonna examine the schematics. That's not it. You guys are gonna be mad at me for that. <laughs> for that interface. Where, where are schematics? Here, here are schematics. Okay, so, it looks like... There's no way this actually is supposed to help me. In the corridor, there is a little boy. Down the stairs, there is a little boy. Under the root, there is a little boy. I don't know where, there is a little boy. We must light the pillars with a little boy. <laughs> <laughs> and when the pillars are lit, the door opens. This door. And there's the gemstone. Bl power block. Wonderful. In other words, let's go find the little boys. Found it. Okay. Okay. Let's stop messing around. I totally know what I have to do. I'm just gonna run around and... 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 and, and I guess... Try and get lucky first. Maybe we enter through here, right? Yeah. Well, here is an open door. Wonderful. We've already found where to go from here. Easy as pie. Oh. Why did the door shut as we entered? We're being betrayed. Looks like we can't go back the same way we came. Well, you know what that means? That means we're going the right way. That's what I'm happy about. Oh, lordy. Oh, lordy. Frozen wolves. Frozen wolf, lads. Oh, power block. <laughs> this looks pretty. Looks pretty scenic. Scenic block. Scenic chest. Hello. No need to wake up, lads. I'm friendly. I wouldn't ever hurt a wolf. Because on all levels, except for physical, <laughs> me too, I'm a wolf. <laughs> okay, uh, get me through here. We clearly need to unsaltify them, which means they're gonna wake up, but the door will also be unlocked, so... Anything around here? No, nope, not really. That's good, that means for the exploration I won't have to come back and struggle. Actually... Eek! <laughs> oh no. Ow. Hey, look at that, I have Geo against the guy that needs Geo to be activated. Still can't tell if that's good or bad to fill in this bar. It looks like they get buffed because of it. Beep boop beep boop beep boop beep boop beep boop. Die. Wolf. Bogo sticking! I don't think he has artifacts on. Die. A d chest. Wonderful. Well, we're in, that means we're gonna have to come back here <laughs> during the expiration. I definitely got... I mean, it's not gonna get me towards that one, I bet. Yeah, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Ooh. Glowing thing over there with energy block. Already? No way we found the energy block already. No way. I like how this looks, though. Record of attribution. You know, um, every time I'm in these areas, it reminds me of Skyrim. And like, there's there's Dwemer Ruins or whatever. Maybe no one knows what I'm on about. Anyway, Skyrim is a game I'd love to play. If you guys want to see a Skyrim playthrough, please let me know. Because <laughs> I'd love to play through Skyrim again. It's been a while too, I think. Most of the lore, I actually don't remember. I just played through it and had a good time because it's like a cool MMO. Or RPG, I should say. Is it the same door mechanism, I wonder? Where are you, where are you headed, buddy? Oh, square, square. <laughs> and like the pitchfork shape. That's right. That's not right. That is the pitchfork. Whoa. Wild. Coins. Love coins. I like these runes a lot though. A lot of thinking has been 
put into this, I, I feel. You guys are gonna wake up, aren't you? Yeah. I appreciate how much effort they put into it, but once again, I'm like, we are barely gonna spend any time here ever. That's what sucks. Imagine designing this super cool, super pretty area, and then all there is to it is nothing, actually. <laughs> nothing at all. Because you go through it once. You know what, actually, I'm getting good value. We're going through it twice, because I'm exploring it after as well. And I'm leaving these chests behind. Which I always regret during the exploration, but hey, who cares? Who cares? Who cares? If you guys enjoy the videos, it's all worth it. Are you... Am I supposed to, like, bring you with, perhaps? It seems like it would be a good idea to bring it. <laughs> I love the top walking. I feel like there's so much more to this underground, but I guess I can leave that for exploration. See, that's exciting now, because I really want to know what's over there. And I'm not going to check it out now, which means it'll actually be my first time being there ever during the explore. Oh, it's done. <laughs> I just made it back here. Wow. Hello. I guess I have the block. It was just as the note say, huh? You're back already? But judging from your appearance, you must have found the energy block we require. I've examined the energy cores. They are well preserved. Now, all that is needed is to install the energy block into them. And that, I shall leave in your hands. Alright, good interaction, I guess. It looks like an amber. Energy block from a refined as a site. For a rare conversation of element energy. <laughs> <laughs> Seems it can be used as energy source for large scale power systems. You're right, you're right, they can. Energy cores have been filled, now they should be able to activate the control systems. Was what I expecting? Was there a problem? As if there would need to go have a look at the control center when it relays. Alright, which is fine. It is on the way to proving ground all the same. Well, now. It seems the control center is in the direction you previously came from. Since that's the case, let's go together. So never mind, I guess we are exploring that underground that I said I wouldn't explore. Unlucky. Unlucky. Oh, or maybe not. As thought, the problem lies with these relays. I thought so. You know, I saw it, I, I think if I left it in, I was just standing there for a while like, hmm, odd, arrow, should be heading the other way. So it is, it has a use. Relay is placed to conceal the crystal, but since these ruins don't have impurity as an energy source, they shouldn't have come to the attention of the Kfarena at all. The only explanation is the place was intentionally sealed by someone with the ability to use the Kfarena. But why would they do that? What are they trying to do? What are they trying to hide? I suppose it can be discussed later. Our current task is to use the Kfarena power to remove the great crystals and to form... Okay. Should we... Fair... Farwicks nearby. That can invade Kfarena's power. I believe you can sense it too, mighty envoy. Uh, yeah, yeah, totally. Are you... Are you doubting me? <laughs> Hardly, of course. I wouldn't dare. Please, great envoy, guide us. Alright, find the farwigs, remove the great crystals, use the mixer once again. The mixer, dude. The blender. We're cooking. Oh my god, let him cook. It's a dead meme. Uh-huh, ancient underground Macarians, let mysterious energy control system operate. Series of energy relays. Uh-huh. Rotate the mixer <laughs> to change the flow direction. Energy in the circuit. Uh-huh. Sure. Energy is rooted to the control device. You can activate and use the corresponding facilities. Your. That's wild, friends. Should proceed along that path. Really? Already? Sure. Sure, whatever. I didn't want to explore the rest anyway. Genuinely. Oh. There's some Litwicks or whatever they're called. No, Litwicks of Pokemon. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Litwick is a Pokemon. Hello. Oh, lordy. Circus so complicated. Is it? Is it complicated, though? What do you do? Start linking up. Energy seems to be flowing there from above. Yeah. It's a puzzle. This is why you guys wanted to see me do this. Well, I mean, we don't have any energy to start with. Um, Down here to this thing. So let's unlock this thing first. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. I like these stairs or ladders. They're cool. I'm gonna go and get this thing all the way up here first. It feels like I've consumed Chop Suey. My climbing stamina. Maybe it's like the ladders have a buff. They don't get drained. Or your stamina doesn't get drained as quick when you're on it. Here is. Oh, don't tell me I actually have to bring the Sealy. Can. Does this have infinite uses? I wonder. <gasps> It might. So I can just unfreeze everything. Oh, lordy. Okay, sure. Here you go. Rotate it twice. Oh, wow. There you go. And now what? 
a chest. <laughs> I'm getting this. I'm getting this. Should I? Maybe it's staying open forever. Well, I'll try. I'll risk it. I'll risk it for the biscuit. Huh. Rotate this the other way this time. Oh, we've we've made a power thing. Then this goes here. Then you rotate this way. I mean, this will open a gate, I'm sure. Or will it? Didn't. <laughs> it didn't do that at all. And then I'll rotate this north. And then, or is it north even? Kinda. That time it opened the gates. It let out a seal maista. What is the point of that, actually? Was there... Maybe I should point it north for a second. Just see what it does. What does this go to? The top level? Really? Alright. An oculus. Two robots. I don't know if it's coming from there or going from there. <laughs> It's fine. It took me walking up here to realize. They didn't even drop anything. They're fake. Oh, you can't even. I only just noticed you can press T to drop this thing. And you can probably leave it there. Or, like, leave it wherever you want. So, for example... <laughs> and I need to find a way to get to that other one over there. Is it behind the gates? I just have to backtrack, perhaps. Oh, is this just an entrance? Bro, tiny brain, man. <laughs> I knew it too, because we saw how oh, the Sealies guide you there. Yeah, well, that's the difference. I'm not doing the Sealies yet. It's fine. At least they're like nice and easy to see. They're both right here. It'll be great. And then I can walk here. I don't know what I was doing here. I didn't even mess with these yet. There you go. I think our work here is done. It's not really. I need to come back for the Sealies eventually, but yeah, for now it is. I still feel like our, our friend here, our human friend, is gonna do some some suspicious. I feel like he's not to be trusted still. Investigate. The lower proving grounds. Ooh, really now? This is like a boss battle area. Great envoy and her honor, yes, Napati. I fear this is as I may have attended. As far as I may attend you, what's the problem this time? According to the text, the road ahead is full of perils that is nor uh, that no ordinary mortal may bear. Once we go in there, we shall be within proving grounds that the Darians once used to test their machines. There is even an incomplete prototype of a giant machine amongst them. Copy the Darian records to my notes to say this place was once modified to use as fortifications from which the monsters could be attacked, although it didn't see much use in that regard. Strange, isn't it? Who were the Darians who triggered a defiling disaster create machines to fight monsters? All the same, now that we have activated the control systems for these ruins, the defensive me mechanisms within the proving grounds must also have been activated. The great song we are searching for <laughs> should be within that golem. Though I am st st stymied. I don't know how to pronounce st stymied. St stymied. I don't know. I suspect, I suspect that it will be easy for you all. Please know me to stay here and await your return so that we may be able to obtain all the great songs of Farena. You are indeed but a mere human. Such a request is to be expected. By your gracious leave, then. Well, I guess Nasiuna is stepping off at the last moment. Still... Paimon's a lot happier now that the two of you won't be bouncing off each other for a while. Sure. Whatever. What you gotta say for yourself. When along with Yusuf would drag you all down, such sympathy shall wait here. They should not match for the great envoy or yourself. Alright. Take it easy. Sure, if you say so. Yep. Hello. Enter the proving ground. Spicy. I don't know what that is. Strange device. I wanna. Check what this is, just in case. Yours or light contain colossus and Kvarena can be scattered across the land. A barrier, perhaps? So this awakens the orbs. It will expand a barrier and deflect incoming attacks. Okay. So if I were to do this, and then this, <laughs> I would miss everything. That one worked. All right. I mean, you can just stay there and be a barrier. That'll be great. There's more, though. There's a thing to activate up there. All right. Open the mechanism. Here we go. Kind of cutscene-like. Oh my, oh my. Uh, uh oh. Half finished rune guard? Oh no, it's just a system. Okay. And you are? You're just a cannon. I'm not that worried. <laughs> I thought it was going to be way worse. Oh no. Weird cannon emerged from the ground. Are they trying to say that we should shoot that big machine thing over there? Hmm, such a thoughtful design. Your imagination truly is wild, pal pale floater. Didn't I say, yeah, not. Uh, earlier say that this place was modified from its original form as a proving ground for testing machine functionality. It appears the device was unlocked earlier was meant to be used to activate the proving ground. It seems that the modifications did not include the dismantling of the original devices. A most helpful discovery indeed. In that case, Mayas Napati, the honor of operating this cannon shall be yours. Don't you want to be the one in the books? Alright, I mean, hey, I'm gonna... I want this barrier up. 
in advance. Yeet. <laughs> Investigate. Defeat all opponents. Ah! Are you an opponent? Where are the opponents? <laughs> I just hide behind this thing. There you go. Alright, cool. I actually forgot how this worked for a while. You have to shoot them twice. Like, you have to get the second hit when they are kind of half stunned already. Can I use in current state? Oh, you're doing it for me. Thanks. It's kind of working, I think. Yeah, look, it's blocking it. Let's go, Ning. Still my queen, I don't care. Even if it broke. And now what? <laughs> I think I'm defeating it maybe too quickly. Oh, lordy. Talk too quickly. Talk too quickly. Need shields. And oh, what? Oh, no. Oh, no. They are stronger than I had anticipated. Oh, I've revived food. Please activate the thing. Thanks. I can... I can... I live. I'll be fine, right? It's totally not gonna break. You feeling exhausted yet? <laughs> Tickle the armpits. <laughs> Uh-oh. Alright, what are you gonna spawn this time? Flying ones, I bet. Oh, again? <laughs> I made it to safety. Ah! Perfect time to stretch. I do not fear. I do not fear. I think my little guy is strong enough. Thanks, little guy. Sign up. Lose mechanism exhausted their powers. Easy. Oh, uh, you lie. You lie to me. Why? Why you do that? There's an Oculus up there as well that I saw while aiming it. We will definitely get that during the explore. Hey, ruin cannon, exploration knowledge, heavy cannon found in the profit cannons on ruin. It was originally a testament mechanical functionality to inactivate of its mental power. Indeed, ruin cannon had the golem of course to deal damage to it. When the golem releases energy shield, quickly destroy three points in the corner as it shield would render effective. I knew that. I knew all of that. Ooh, it's so sensitive. Bang. 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 Oh no. Destroy the corners. Get rid of the shield. Bang. Bang. <laughs> this guy, all right, this is kind of cool. Not gonna lie, pretty cool. Oh. Bang. Bada bing. Bada boom. Quick scope. 360. You can't. <laughs> you can't 360. It's dead. The Great Farena. Behold, my righteous strike. Indeed. Indeed, as the achievement said. We're under the sea, look at the map. That's cool. Actually, um, ra random ramble story lore of me as a person. <laughs> I went back to the Netherlands one time, or two times in my life, after moving away from there. And um, on the GPS, it was still sea as well. But they were like making new land, basically. And I drove on, so basically drove on water. Yeah, I'm kind of a big deal. No one cares? Alright, sorry, my bad. <laughs> useless. useless information. Ooh! Man, really wish there was like some kind of reward at the end of this, but never lucky. Hey, there's the reward. I lied. There is one. Give me uh, the song. Leave the proving ground. All right. Oh, you can't press escape. Pling! Very cool. Very nice. All right. I kind of expect there to be some kind of chest or something, but unlucky. Ah, as one. Why are you here now? You trusted now all of a sudden. You're weird. You're crazy. We might as well a great envoy your sympathy. Neither the Darian machines nor the creature of Dev were able to stop you. Huh? When did you get in here? That's what I'm saying. Why? I was watching your wondrous battles from the side, and oh, what a sight it was! Then, upon seeing that you entered, had a great song in hand, I rushed to meet you. Of course, he's gonna die. This guy dies. <laughs> Good work, all of you. And while we're still on this topic, perhaps you might give the great songs of Kavrena to me for safekeeping? No. I mean, well, it might... How should I say this? Give me a greater sense of my partic... No. You didn't do all that much from the start. And anyway, Servan said we shouldn't give you the great songs of Kavrena away carelessly. Don't say that. I mean, I've done so much research on them. I'm sure a little examination on my part will be of help later. For example, we could find where these great songs of Kavrena have come to be hidden in these ruins and... This is not the time for stories. That's what I am. Damn. Cut him off right there and then. 
It's like, hey, shut up, man. He was like, find a final song. I knew there was one more. Is this gonna be like another real struggle? No way, not another real struggle. No, 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 no. No, no. Nice dash. Nice dash. Nice dash. Nice. Nice dash. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, continue onward. I'm pretty excited. I want to see how this ends. I... I don't... I'm not really... Um, emotionally invested, per se, but I'm, I'm definitely intrigued about how this would end. This looks like another place we're gonna fight in. Do we really just get the song for free? Oh yeah, it's this boss. <laughs> hey, that boss. Oh, never mind, we get to ignore it. Lovely. I did not know there was more to this. This is what this is what's so cool about these undergrounds. Like, you come here for one specific reason, and you kind of just forget to check around. I never realized there was more to this cave. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, not a door. This is the same kind of door. Remember in the chasm underground that like made us all see different things? It's the exact same door. Well then, let me help you open this door. The final great song that can be found in the underground Darian factory. We merely are one step away, but knowing that we are so close to collecting the great songs, I feel rather excited. Hesitate a little, why? What, are you afraid? Now that we're here? I don't know why I'm hesitating either, I thought it'd be an interesting option to pick. Uh, it's just that you might have read those notes, Nasiyuna, but Paimon thinks you're a little too good at working with these ruin machines. But of course, while you were away, I was making the preparations the entire time. The build-up of him being sus is, like, really happening, huh? He's gonna get swallowed by the shadows. <laughs> what is he doing? I couldn't skip it. He's gone. He's dead. Oh yeah, how do you do this again? Just shoot the things? I don't remember. Take it easy. Take it easy. I'm intrigued. Oh, waypoint again as well, I think. Yep, 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 yep. Treasure hoarders, hunters, and probably a carpet or a table. I still want a table. Continue onward. I am. I'm working on it. Cannot deploy here. Yes, you can. I'm holding E. Yes, my queen. Thank you. That's the wrong way. <laughs> All right. Big open area again. Uh, I've seen one of these earlier. Didn't have to interact with it. I'm not going to do it either this time. Wait, isn't this somewhere we were earlier? It just opened a door to go like back and forth between an area, I believe. I think we've been here earlier. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just crazy. Crazy? I was crazy once. They locked me in a room. A rub room with slimes. And yeah, slimes make me crazy. Crazy? <laughs> okay. It's just a long trek. And this is definitely something we're gonna have to explore. Cannot forget about this. Although I feel like I wouldn't forget. You don't, you don't just forget about a big ruin like this. Uh-huh. I was going to say, and now what? You just walk through. Another one of these puzzle moments, it seems. I kind of like this, so I don't mind. There we go, inside at last. Well, this looks like the main hall. What should we do next? How about solve the puzzle? Seems like a good idea. Let me think. Just like the previous ruins we've explored, this should also be the energy control hub for the entire ruin. If the documents I've read are accurate, this place used to known, or it was used to know as a manufacturing center, and it was owned by the Dari warrior band known as the Sh... Schwanen, Schwanenritter. The, the Swan Knight? I don't know if Schwan would be Swan. <laughs> Just a proving grind, ground from earlier was. According to these records, they resisted monsters that surged ooh, from the cataclysm that occurred 500 years ago. Not important right now. Whether the case, my notes say that the great song we must claim is at the very bottom of this factory. You will need to use the elevator. Aha, uh -huh, I understand. We do the puzzle. We need three of those. The notes seem to say these runes. Couldn't have a few of them. Might as well have a look around adjoining rooms. You say that, but the doors all look closed. Don't look we're going anywhere fast. Pale floater, you fret over too much. All places are accessible to those who use Kvarena, and is not one of the far weeks we find here. Yes, I understand. Thank you for entailing, explaining once more that we need to use the the Litwicks. Starting with this one. Oh, you can move them too. Wow. 
I think what they were saying is that there's only two of these and there's only two icons for them as well. We should probably open that door first is my guess. So we're going to need a PowerPoint here. So we're going to move this. Seems immovable. Nah, bro. Absolutely not. That works already. We just need to have the juice go that way. I'm going to move this dude. Move it. Move it. Yes, you can move. And once more, and it's going to open that door already. Now what I'm going to do in the meantime... Never mind, I'm getting cutscened. Ooh, it really opened. Of course it did. In that case, let's do the same with the door on the other side. Sure. Love to go there and have a look. My notes say that it's factory. Smelting center lies away. Uh, seeing the state of these relays, we'll need another farwick to activate the door here. If we want to activate the elevator, we'll need to use uh, to unseal all three of these relays. Considering that, trouble you, go find it. Yeah, of course. Hmm, you almost sound like you presumed to command me. Oh, no, no, of course. I would never dare such a thing, oh great envoy. Yet is there a task only you may accomplish? You and your Yasnapati truly work wonders that a mere mortal such as I cannot aid in accomplishing. Oh, you bore me, Yasuyuna. <laughs> Mine is only for you. Yep, I, I think he's he's definitely doing this for his own gain. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Lovely. I didn't use this at all last time. Analysis: the uh, nature of a Varushakara oasis. Intriguing. The structure of the so-called sacred lotus is similar to the composition of mine and Jacob's bodies, yet it has almost no common properties of that of Mister Carl. A strange result. Funnily enough, I've been playing through Atli Riza. If you want to check it out, come on stream. And uh, my, my dad's name is Carl in that. <laughs> Strange result, one that will require more data samples to verify. The Shamania won't let us take any samples. How churlish. We ate dried bread. The jam is nearly gone. Nice. Compared to the powers of the elements, the power of Kvarena is actually more similar to blank. It assimilates to whatever materials and energies it comes into contact with, though the Kvarena is opposed to energy of blank. It does similarly have a form of self-recognition. On this point, the two possess the same properties. Just as tinctures of mercury will not mix with water, but will do so with others. We can reasonably infer that the power of Kvarena might be the same as the power of blank, the result of being projected onto this world. Perhaps it is precisely because of such thinking that those pretty shamania came up with the petty shamania, not pretty, came up with the notion of conflict. More importantly, we might be able to combine Conrian records to deduce their world formula based on this. There was uh, there was more much to consider today, so I decided to eat a couple more sweets. Finished off the jam. <laughs> good, good lore. He sometimes cries in secret. It's understandable, I think. All my teeth have come in, so I'm an adult now, but he's only just had his third tooth come in. This would normally be time for afternoon tea at the Institute. At the moment, I don't know what Elaine... What? I don't know what Elaine... I told him the vice director said that she would definitely return. She's amazing, always keeps her word, and is an adult who never tricks children. But seeing all of this, I'm certainly starting to think that will be uh, that she will be unable to return. Jakob has certainly thought this too. Split the last of the jam between myself and Jakob. <laughs> Based on the Conrian records, this place produces as a site. There you go, a block of energy of some kind. It is certainly convenient, and at last appears to be relatively stable and safe. It seems that the original plan was to use it as the power source for some of the ag agricultural machine, the field tillers. <laughs> Uh, though the results are nothing impressive, this is because the object they were uh, they chose was pure element force, which lacks any will whatsoever. Like the difference between the director and a hydra slime, perhaps. Based on her nature, she shouldn't die. At least, I hope not. So weak. If we don't take any measures, it's unlikely that we will endure long to return to Fontaine. Ooh. <laughs> Should be able to use this, this power. Furious. But it's understandable. Given that even homes this far apart have been flooded, an attitude of resistance to this kind of power is normal, but we must preserve Jakob's life. After all, the Narcissenkreuz. <laughs> I know what this means. I think this is a flower. Institute. Lost consciousness. But uh, uh, I do not think power can be classified right as wrong, as right or wrong, as adults are too pedantic. Only I remembered I hadn't eaten. Only remembered I hadn't eaten. Today's meal is only dried bread without jam. Sad. Miss the jam. There's so much. Wow. Regained consciousness. Jacob forgot, so Mr. Call became suspicious, but the fake journals should still be effective for now. Intriguing data was gained during the process. Based on documents left behind by the Conrians in this data, we can obtain some of the formulae. 
To celebrate and help Jakob supplement his nutritional intake, even though there's no need, I already told him what we must keep up, that we must keep up the ruse, Mr. Call forged some nuts. We boiled them down into jam. Nut jam, whoa! Uh, which used up our remaining sugar, but that's fine. If things go to plan, we can return soon. Can be deduced that all the way till the second floor periods... Second floor periods. I've decided to call the previous incident that flooded the courtyard the first flood period, so that... So as better, separate the two. The names being too similar caused Jacob to input the wrong data. Tail end. <laughs> Though I don't want to admit it, but no matter how many times the calculations are run, the results are the same. I cross-checked with Jacob. Unbelievable. Destruction? Did I miss a variable? I must check the calculations again tomorrow. The results are clear as the coin as a coin at the bottom of the fountain of Lucene. Ooh. <laughs> Jacob saw the similar scenes. There should be a way. No, there must be a way. Actually, thought of a possible breakthrough during the process. Even though the calculated result is unchanged, if the refinement method is reflected, if the power of blank, then maybe we can extract the will within. Using this method, resist the impact. We begin our journey back to Fontaine tomorrow. This trip paid enormous dividends, and much of what was learned will be applicable. A larger catast catastrophe must be avoided. The plan should be fine. Nothing more than a question of what Jacob and I can do. Jacob is scared, because he is still a child, but he already has strength greater than most adults. With us, and Elaine, we can surely stop the disaster. We must speak with Elaine upon our return. Aha! Uh -huh. Took me most information to obtain this... Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. Without the notes to get me, I should not be able to leave this place alone, and you would leave... Uh, you would not leave a poor man such design to dust, would you? <laughs> what are you foreshadowing? What are you foreshadowing? Renee's investigation notes. Well, I read through the whole thing. Um, it's mostly lore, and it's not going to help us here, is it? Or am I crazy? Look for the second Farwick. Well, this one's pretty straightforward, I would say. We go left or we go right. I decide to go left. Whoa, look at this super cool red-tailed lizard. That looked so cool, actually. Should have caught it. We can't dive in this game. Yet. Question mark? <laughs> Perhaps one day. Diving would be... Oh, hello there. I'm not asking to fight. Leave me alone. Don't waste my time. <laughs> exactly. Just don't waste my time. Oh, common chest. Yeah, it's just a light. A rune guard light. You know what? If they sold that, people would definitely buy it. There is so much in this underground, which is good. Can't go through yet. Uh, an oculus, of course, as you will. We can go further down. Is that a fishing thing or just... No, it's just ripples. Uh, there is a current here, so we can easily go back up. Hmm. Leave me alone. I'm not looking for a fight. There's a lot down here as well. How does one... How does one do the thing? Hmm. Maybe we should follow the Sealy. Usually Sealy's give decent hints <laughs> at where you should go, but since I'm not doing them for Explore. Sealy. What? What? Guide me, my son. Yep, yeah, well there you go. Already showed me the way. Or did it? Over the grates? That's crazy. Yep. Yep. Alright. I mean, I can I can finish this, Sealy. If you're right here. Might as well. Although I probably... You know what? I shouldn't have done that. Don't finish. Oh, he's gonna stay in front of it. That's perfect. Because then next time, when I explore, I'll actually be able to see the Sealy again. It'll show me the way again. It'll be great. Uh, it opened the door. So I guess I should f finish the Sealy. Damn it, what, whatever. There's the wick. The John Wick. Take it easy. Open that door. Now, how do we go down in here? Can we just drain it with that mechanism? Easy enough. Cool. Yeah, and a remarkable chest. Very scenic, but remarkable isn't allowed to be scenic. Now what? I didn't see what it said. Oh, we don't want to be here. Oh, I lied. Give me back out. 
I actually don't remember where to go from here. Maybe it is here? What? Oh. Oh, how intriguing. Are we ever gonna have another thing here? I think I should open this. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ever gonna have another lit thingy. I'm, I'm taking it. I'm sorry, exploration. Easy money. Easy money. I don't remember Yelon's voice lines either. I, I think she's. I think it's been long enough. I think I can use her in another explorer. I don't even remember what the other explorer was that I used Take her. Take it in. easy. Um, mm -mm -mm. there has to be an easier way to get back out instead of what in the world I'm doing here, such as straight up going through the thing that was the obvious exit. I'm slow. Take it easy. I'm a bit slow sometimes. Okay. Oh, my. we don't have to talk about it, man. Finally back. Yes. Sometimes I worry frozen bees suddenly revive themselves would have been done for no doubt. Nothing of the sort happened. You're like, you're a Fatui. You're a Fatui. In that case, let's open the door on the right before we uh, uh, onward. He's like that guy from Enkonomiya. That's just suddenly sus. Take it easy. There you go. So, does that door close when the energy leaves, or no? I mean, it's still giving power for now. Eh, it doesn't close. Rotate. Rotate. Shove. And then we need one on this side, too. Rotate. Rotate. Shove. Oh, it worked already. Well, the more the more work, the more uh, reward. True. True uh, algorithm. Look, uh, I know we're past the feeling bad for trolls arc, but I won't, I won't punish you. Hey! Wow, that's really cool. Huge fern is super hot. How's this on operation? I don't know, but what I do know is that I would have jumped in that. <laughs> this is where you make the acid Interesting. Core of the entire factory. Uh huh. Cool. Place would have been abandoned ages ago. No one should be able to get in here. Might be some paths that we're not sure of. People may worship the Dark Abyss. Yep, perhaps the Fatui you spoke of may have entered. The Fat How ironic that you mentioned them right after I call it your one. I don't know. It's just hard to believe. Hard to trust this guy. May have been stolen now. Nah, bro. No one steal the song. What the hell? Destined inheritance. Exactly. Must find a Farik to activate the relays. Okay. Activate the elevator and go where the great song awaits us. Come on then, let's go. I want to jump in that lava. You don't realize. My attraction to wanting to jump in there is stronger than anything. Don't be blocked. Please. Don't be invisible wall. <laughs> No, that's so lame. Oh no. Oh no. I knew that was gonna happen too. I tried to cancel it. Oh, I tried to cancel it by pressing E. I fight. This is not looking good for me right now. I have nothing to do with these lads. Uh oh. I killed them all, I guess. Oh, look, I actually had to. It opened the door. Um, mm -mm -mm, up here. You don't eat some ham. Come back. I need you. And there it is. Huh, that was easy. What are the odds of a Fatui spawning here? As I grab it, a whole gang of them just popping out of nowhere. You know, red cloud, big enemies. I guess I'm gonna be so mad about my life support right now. Come here. <laughs> I want the cool lizards. Um, should I leave from the top? Probably. I'm still kind of mad I couldn't jump in the lava, but oh, well, cool. Huh, you see that giant machine up there? This is the central control device of this entire factory. As long as we can get the energy from the relays to that center and activate this device, we shall be able to activate the elevator. Whatever the case, let's hurry and unseal the relays, then use the mixer, as before, to connect the circuit. What is this? You know what? You know this place too well, Nesuyuna. It's like you've been here before or something. Don't you find it weird too, Sarush? Well, that is true, but he is a human. <laughs> sure, this is not beyond him. Hmm. Don't look down on the scholarly types. With the aid of these documents that I read in the mountains, read in the mountains, even I can master those devices. And I have not only read the books within the house of Dina. Dina? I think that's how you pronounce it. But I've spent much time collecting tomes here for heretofore hidden. As the great envoy commanded me, I've always paid special attention to the records concerning the great songs of Kvedena and underground runes. Tell me, is deriving recorded truth from the document the essential work of those who- I don't care, Nasayuna. 
You're talking way too much. Even if you should suspect me, uh, let us save that until it obtains the song. I will abandon you, right? Put him in a- lock him up. I don't care. We've had- we've had our use of him. I have no empathy with this guy. <laughs> you strange the value Yeah, okay. Cool. Alright, let's unlock the last thing. Will there be an incredibly difficult puzzle? Not what I meant to do. Leave me alone, pretty please. Thank you. I don't know, I don't like this guy. And he's very complainy too, just like me. I don't like that. Move. We only have two of these though, don't we? Yeah. This one definitely needs to be used. That one is activated still. So I only have to activate this one by moving this and then turning it twice. There you go. Easy enough. Now we only need to activate the central control device. The platform elevator should return the function. Yes, to put your eminence, great envoy. I'll leave that to you. I have more work to do examining these aged machines. We're finally here. The preparations I made were not in vain. And yet, let us leave celebrations till later. Who knows what danger yet lie ahead? You. You lie ahead. You lie. All right. I, I understand. I got that far. Activate the central. Head to the upper control platform. Okay. Man. I forgot how you got there. I forget. I see the area I have to go. Can I go through here? I'm sorry. I'm slow. Oh. Ominous mask. Good thing we came back. It wasn't through here. What was it? And then the conveyor belt area? Yeah, well, this was not the right place. <laughs> oh, really? This might help. All right. Oh my God. Really now. Uh, but I need to find the answer first. Is this the answer? I need a triangle up top. That claw thing. The middle is like, yeah. The top is a different kind of triangle. I don't know if that exists. Yep. There you go. <laughs> well, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be, fortunately. Uh-oh. Always scary, it's gonna do big beams, gonna be like... No? Yes. What is it? <laughs> okay. Ah, finally! Now we need to use the elevator and we shall reach the deepest section of this factory. Well, my notes also say a path in the underground realm still deeper down below this factory may be found there. But that's not a place we can reach. The road ahead is perilous, but I will not falter at the precipice this time. Maybe because they're the deepest part of the surface realms after all. If a researcher as myself were to stop here, I uh, sure it'd be a shame of the name of my order. As always, I leave myself in your able hands. Hmm. So now you are coming. Fabricator General. Or whatever. He is weird. He never comes, but now he wants to come. Because why? Can you find secret powers down here? That's not very far down. It's a bit underwhelming, even. Or is there like a second elevator? Oh god. Let me- let me go. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. No. E I have one health on all my guys. Okay, okay, I'll try and heal. Burger. Burger's so broken, actually. So much health from Burger. Alright. Well, it's all pretty trivial. We'll get through this. If we get rid of this guy, I'll be fine. Ow. Whoa, it's just one giant elevator platform. Okay, this is always really cool. And it spawns waves of enemies, you know? Yup. <laughs> yup. As expected. Hey, big guy. Bam. Oh yeah, try and get me through this. That's right, you can't. I like Ning Wong, you know? I think it's such a cool character. There's so many things Ning Wong and only Ning Wong can do. We go again. Oh. Well. The more you know. <laughs> again, of course. We're never entirely done. Oh, we're actually kind of destroying them. The first time ever that move was useful. And it wasn't even that useful, actually. Instead. Oh, what the? <laughs> Dead. Watch this. Fake it. Haha! Ha, ha damn it. Haha! Ha. Why is it not? Oh, and that's only the middle part again. Damn it. So unlucky. There it is, the final song. I'm looking. Is there there's not a lot of room for some mean guy to spawn. Yeet. Nice! And that's all five of the great Farena in our hands. 
Now we just need to take him up to Zervan in the Sea of Flowers and perform a ritual of whatever we're calling it. Please wait, as I see it, these great songs should be first. What? As I mentioned before, I must still examine these great songs carefully. I don't care. Not with so much effort finding them as well. If I were not present, you might be stumbling blind towards this factory. Well, that's what it looked like, yeah. Yes, yes, reasonable, is it not? Come then, give me the great songs. Quickly now, that way I can draw up a procedure for the ritual first. Yes, that's right. <laughs> it's my work too, after all. You know, the more you talk, the more suspicious Paimon's getting. And that will be unnecessary. As my Yesnapati says, you need simply await the completion of my heroic deed. <laughs> Silence, you piss me off. <laughs> Nasareya, you dare. Ha, well, I've said it now, haven't I? I've blown my cover. But, ah, uh, it is such a liberating feeling to no longer have to grovel, grovel and nod before this idiot of a party. Well, where should we begin? I'm not even sure. I'd love to tell you about my plans. Dead people tell no tales after all, but I'd wager you'd not hear such convoluted matters much. I butchered it, but that's what he sounded like. I'm roleplaying. Why don't you just hand the great songs over? That'll save me time. Nope, not happening. We spent so much effort getting them, and if we don't have them, our commission's a non-starter. Zervan also said that we'd be idiots to give them to you. Ha, <laughs> sideshows, all of that, compared to my plans. I've been playing house with you imbeciles this entire time just to get the great songs. They call me Vishafafa of the Order, but they could never understand my labors. And so, I acted in secret. I had to. In order to get rid, uh, to get in with Kvarena constructs, I came up with the idea of using the right of Chinvat to extinguish the sign and lure in Sorush. That was already a pain in the neck. You've seen it, how most party are just obstinate cretin. But she was truly useless. Her constant failure to obtain that chaplet had me on the verge of giving up. It was thanks to you two, ultimately, that a chaplet was gained, and that we made it all the way here. Now, it won't please you, but I'm very grateful. That's a bit harsh. <laughs> Is that even important? It just shows that I have no care for your evil plots. The songs of skeptics record some humans did, uh, that some humans did become companions of the party. But were it not for the great songs, I would never have associated with them at all. All that is left now is to use the great songs of Feta to reverse the right of Chinva, which will release the seal in the abyss, and the wars of old will begin anew. <laughs> oh, the expectation. Does it not kill you inside? Shame, then, that you shan't see that glorious sight. Wait, isn't your order supposed to help suppress the abyss? Why do you want to unseal it instead? You've turned your back on your duties. Ah, but have you not considered other possibilities? Just as you have seen, the skeptics' documents are a pile of raving mad myths, while Dari records are factual, precise. As I see it, the history and duty of the Order of Skeptics are but tall tales invented from nothing. My discoveries in the runes only prove my judgment astute. I found a great many interesting things here, just so you know. Well, I may have managed to enter the place at times, in secret, alongside with the Lector who gave me the notes. The Lector, see, Abyss Lector, that's what I thought he was. But this is the first thing, first time things went so well. According to my research, those who re re resisted the impurities here were here as Ladari. They are the skeptics' true ancestors. But they were forgotten, their tale untold. They were smeared as sinners, as the cause behind the disaster. Their deeds were wiped from the records by the thrice be damned academia, and then mistakenly appropriated as a founding myth of the, by the skeptics. I suspect this is why the academia never intended to accept us. Alright, betrayal's betrayal. <laughs> I'm merely ending this frac... fratris... yep, mm hmm I did say so earlier, did I not? I found some interesting records in the runes, for example, Dari records, of that sign in the sky. They call this a sign of truth, believing that it reflected a reality beyond our skies. Ooh, wow, okay. That is my plan, to bring the truth without mercy to this unjust world. Now then, my great word requires, work requires the great songs of Kvarena, so hand them over. If you quietly, perhaps, I might spare you. Well, what is your evil form then? And what will you do? Snatch it? It's gonna be pretty tough for you, you know. Well, that's too bad. I've come prepared. Oh, here come the Fatus. My apologies for the wait, oh priest of the dark hollow. It's not a very big boss fight area. There you go. <laughs> nice crossbow loser. <laughs> Look at him. Look at this absolute numb nut. I'll spare him. I'll spare him until this guy's dead first. That'll be funnier. No, Ningwang star. <laughs> He died from collateral damage! He's so bad! He's so bad! It's fine, I switched character to tank it. I actually cannot believe it. He died- he's so weak. 
But this guy, fucking Klingzor out here, fucking Steel-type Pokemon sound nice. Isn't even like a dark mage or anything. I thought he'd be maybe like Electro or something. He's blue. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the betrayal the betrayal arc was like thick on it, wasn't it? This this was a shock to no one. They were kind of I feel like that sometimes they put too much emphasis on people being a bit sus. I wish it was like actual shocker betrayal, you know, and not like, hmm, Paimon thinks he's being sus, and then we just kind of accept it. Talk to Sorush. He, oh yeah, where are you, Sorush? You're right here with me. Is the man just dead or is he out of breath? What's the unit gone off to? He was hiding over there a moment ago. We killed his ass. How could we have let him slip off like that? To think that he'd gang up with the Abyss Order to take her great Kvarena. And what was that crazy nonsense he was going on about? Eh, long time coming. Well, now that you mention it, he was pretty suspicious right from the start. And given that Zervan told us, he must, she must have realized something as well, right? In that case, let's bring the songs back and get the answer from Zervan. As for the order, doesn't Nas didn't Nasiyuna say that he was keeping them in the dark too? Well, we wouldn't rule out the possibility that some of them might have been swayed by Nasiyuna's side, but Paimon thinks Pirho and some others didn't know what was going on. If we got time, let's tell them the truth. Dot dot dot. Whatever the case, let's head back to the Sea of Flowers. We've got to make sure nothing bad happens after all. You know? Oop, trial of Haftvadi. I... I do think... I forgot what I wanted to say, so that's wonderful. Can't climb in there. Mango letters unfinished. Um, it's always so funny how the bad guys, they just unpack their entire lore and have a whole ass monologue before dying every single time. In every movie, every game, everything. All the time. They can't just shut up. <laughs> they have to talk about their whole life story and unveil all their plans. Uh-huh. Well, if you want to read it, I'm sparing myself. I'm sparing my voice, mostly. Uh, where to? The Oasis. Give me there. So it's been pretty quiet since we left the ruined factory. Yeah, I got mad betrayed. Also, it's odd. My Ningguang stars are floating behind it. She used to keep talking on and on, so Pai was not used to her being silent. Yeah, considering what happened. Cheer up, Sarush. We've still got many things to do. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> For instance, we need to perform uh, that right with the name Palma can't remember and fix a giant hole. After we're done, let's treat ourselves to something delicious for our hard work. We can have... Um, Paimon doesn't know what Pari prefer for food. Pari don't need to eat, silly floater. <sighs> to think I've fallen so low to require the pale floater's comfort. What a shame. I'd rather be sealed into the Grey Crystal right, right away or find myself a cavern to slumber and disturb for eternity. Till everyone I know ceases to exist. Paimon said Paimon's not a pale floater, but is there really such a cavern? Avoidance can't really solve the problem. At this point, I'm past caring. How am I supposed to live with the sheer embarrassment of being fooled by Nasayuna? Anyway, now that you've collected the great songs of Kvarena, you can go to Mihira Rashnu if you want to solve the anomaly in the sky. Whatever the case, please leave me alone and pretend you never heard the things I said. Uh, you did say a lot of weird stuff. Mayasnapati? <laughs> Ah, oh, stop! Please stop! <laughs> stop teasing her. She's traveling for us for so long, and after, uh, after all, and Palma doesn't want to see her quit halfway. What's more, Sorush does have some good qualities. Like, uh, I saw you hesitating. <laughs> stop patronizing me. You're quick to act. You've got a sense of responsibility. <laughs> and we haven't been working hard to extinguish the sign of a potion. It's all thanks to you that we've made it so far. How do they go again? Let Paimon think. Ah, as long as you keep going, I believe that it will only be a matter of time before you become a truly great adventurer. Really? Do you genuinely mean to praise me? Yes, as genuine as a friend could be. Hey, <laughs> I knew I was great. Alright, we're back. That's, that's all it took? <laughs> My motivation is back. Now that the motivation in Sarus is back, let's go find Suravan. Fix the giant hole and get the reward. Paimon can't wait for the big meal. Yeah, same. Can't wait for the big meal. Zurvan, we're back, we got betrayed, and all that, fate to black, white text, let's go and do it. Zurvan, we're back. Ah, Retna, Sorush, and Paimon. By the looks of it, you must have obtained all the great songs. Yeah, despite some accidents, I'm exhausted. Whatever the case, the result's desirable. I was right to entrust the mission to you. Without doubt, or without you, 
The great songs of Kvedan might have been robbed away by those who with ill intent. Well, that wasn't intent, yes. Why does Palma feel like Zurvan saw that was coming? Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, so I was onto something. You didn't run into the followers of Dark Hollow, did you? Yeah, how did you know? Well, instead of dwelling on how I knew, why don't you tell me what exactly happened? Here's the fade, you recount your adventure with the Underground's ruins and betrayal. <laughs> Even the Order of Vision outside of with the Dark Hollow, that was unexpected. Not that I had any hopes in them to begin with, but that's just a step too far. And if I'm not mistaken, Nasuna had been enticed into pursuing the great songs of Kvarena by the servant of the Dark Hollow you fought. Uh, that one's an old acquaintance of mine. Huh? You know the guy from the Abyss Order? Heh. <laughs> He used to be with the Order of Skeptics several hundred years ago. An investigation team from the forest came to explore the secrets of the Darians. They insisted on entering the Darian ruin despite the Order's warning. So then... I'm gonna try and pronounce it one time. Vijnanapati sent the man to go uh, to go with the team in case something happened. No one knew what they encountered in the ruins, but by the time he reappeared, he had already embraced the Fallen's blessings, and investigation team was nowhere to be found. Then came the followers of the Dark Hollow. They were after the great songs of Kvarena. And for that purpose, they summoned countless demons of Dev to attack the Vodukasha Oasis. Although we managed to protect our home with the help of many Pari and human warriors, we didn't eradicate the Dark Hollow's followers. To ensure that I left no gap for them to exploit, I sealed the Vodukasha Oasis and the many ruins with the power of the Great Songs. The Order of Skeptics never recovered from this incident. They lost their ancient archives to fire and gradually became like this. I sensed that the followers of the Dark Hollow were making their play, since you last mentioned them, but I didn't expect them to have corrupted even the leader of the skeptics. Anyway, Pai was still wondering about what Nasiuna said. Do you know anything about the skeptics' ancestor? You've fought alongside them, after all. Heh, <laughs> history becomes legend, legend becomes tale, that's how traditions live on. Forgetting is also part of the story. The more you cling to the idea of tradition, the more you selectively remember the story you desire, and eventually become lost in a maze of tales. In a world where things are being forgotten every hour of every day, what we engrave on the ground is far more reliable than what we sing in the wind. That's why I trust you. For you're forthright and never seem to concern yourselves with other people's judgment. Although, you're praising us. The way you put it sounds somewhat odd. I feel a sense of sarcasm. I presume Elder Zervan's words are intended for me. As for what happened 500 years ago, I think you'd want to see for yourself rather than hear my start version of the story. What? And now you have exactly the perfect opportunity- What? <laughs> By the way, Sarush, it appears that you've grown more reliable now. What you've been through, have you awakened from those raving mad myths of humans? Elder, please just let bygones be bygones. <laughs> it seems I made the right decision to entrust the issue to Rednos and, and Paimon. In that case, I can also leave the right of Ab Absor in your capable hands without any reservations. The right of Absor. Pa remembers hearing Zervon mention it. Is it for cleansing, um, defilement of sorts? The Rite of Absor is a ritual performed uh, to cleanse Harvis <laughs> defilement. Normally, you only need to conduct it under trees that suppress darkness. However, with the seal of weakening and the anomaly re-emerging in the sky, we need more than the usual to solve the problem. The anomaly appeared above the Harvis <laughs> as a result of the tree absorbing a great amount of defilement. Harvis Pokum. Harvis Pok. Harvis Pokum. I don't know. With that ex excessive amount of filth building up within it, and the corrosion caused by the anomaly, the Harvis Pokemon can no longer sustain the Kvarena's power. The only thing we can do now is enter the Harvis Pokemon to cleanse- You know you can say it instead of the name every time. To cleanse it and wake our god. So we can actually enter the thing? Of course. Do you think that the Rite of Chinvent was performed inside the Dark Hollow? Even Putty wouldn't be able to stand the defilement within. Inside the thing lies a giant lotus. Gao Kirana. Gao Kerena, and our god's consciousness slumbers within it. By cleansing the defilement, the flower of sanctity will bloom once again. The Amrita will rid the land of its impurities. Convoluted as these processes may sound, I believe they shall constitute no hindrance to you. Well then, I've already sent the great or sent Rushnu and Mihir to the Tunigi Hollow. You need to only bring over the great songs, and you'll be able to gather the power of Kvarena. Kvaren will awaken the huge trees that are suppressing the darkness and purify the contaminated mud in the depths. After that, you can perform the rite of Chinvat and thus open the path to the thing. And once you're inside, the chapel will reveal to Sorush the great deeds of ancient heroes. Since all memories related to Kvarena will return to the Harvest Book. <laughs> in the end, these memories will never fade no matter how legends are retold and changed. I've never heard of this. <laughs> The chapel is originally part of the Harvey's Pokemon. You'll know when you get there. 
Now, please go and extinguish the sign of a potion. We will meet again when Amrita falls from the sky. Okay. Sure. The fact we didn't get an achievement there seems to mean to me that we are probably close to the end. But you never know. You never know with these quests. I'm excited. I, I just... I like the story so far. I want to just want to see how it ends. I'm so intrigued. And we're going to get lore about what happened a while ago? My friends, I actually really like both of these designs. They're so cool. What took Suresh so long? We've been waiting here for a very long time. I'm so tired. I want to go to go back to sleep. <laughs> hey, that's not fair. I'm the one who's been laboring hard and you didn't do anything. That's not true. Waiting is also an important job. In fact, Acting is only momentary, while waiting is eternal. <laughs> What's with this weird logic? That's just philosophy of us, Pari. But now is not the time to discuss philosophies. What matters is the great songs of Kvarena. I trust you've collected all of them. No? Of course we have. In that case, let us remove the seal. Then you can gather the power of Kvarena with the great songs. But be careful. Since the filth has been building up for centuries, I have no idea what will emerge once I remove the seal. Please heal me. I'm on life support. Please heal me. Oh, nice synchronized dance, friends. Very nice. Place the song. Give. I give song. Ooh. Wow. It's probably gonna release some wolves. It's always the wolves. Oh, the leaves are back too. Cool. Nice. Properly, everything around here seems to have recovered. These trees were only originally cultivated with the Kvarena to resist the corrosion and the cataclysm. It's just their power has ebbed away with the passage of time. With the Great Song's nourishment, they will be able to regain their former glory. But with the seal removed now, the filth from the past have been freed too. The right won't be able to continue if Rashnu and I spend all our energy here, so please take care of these locations for us. Leave it to me. It's the Bloomguard's job to fight defi defilement. Let's go, Bloomguard. Whether it's Sarush or myself, all Pari have a duty that they must undertake. But you're different. You have come to help out of the goodness of your hearts. For that, you have my thanks. No problem me here. I love these two, actually. I think they're so cute. Alright, so we go around the whole desert placing things. Oh, and we heal. Oh, what a wonderful relief. The sweet release of healing. Not what you thought I was going to say. I know. Alright, there's another big pus bubble of evil. I'm not going to be exciting. Probably going to have some... I'm, I'm guessing it's mostly wolves. I don't think... Maybe some, maybe some of the flying hillotrolls? Nah, it's wolves. It's always going to be wolves. Take it easy. Tree's been corroded by something gross. This is what we here talked about. Yes. I mean, I don't have to go there myself, do I? Maybe I do. This is great camera angle. Great camera work by me. Elor. Do it, my young putty. Oh, I actually have to... Whoops. Excuse me. I actually have to beat the crap out of it. Bang. 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 I'm the hero. Bang. 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 Okay, this is incredibly slow and weak. Get him, Ning. Ning diff. I don't think any character can do this well except for Ning. In my party, anyway. There you go. Is that it? Oh, yeah. Easy. Um, maybe a Claymore user would have been good. But I don't have any of those in my party. Here you go. Oh. Cutscene or just spawning things? Or, or none of it? <laughs> none of the above? Hello, boys. No need to be mad at me. There's so many things around here. Oh, and you can move that. That's so, I really like that mechanic of being able to move them yourself. Uh, there is one here. What is corroding it, though? Where's the pus bubble? Is it just the wolves? No way, it's just the wolves. Wow, monsters have been released! <laughs> Dealing with is such a simple matter. I feel like you're kind of making it sound a bit easy. I'm losing a lot of health, you see. I'm eating a lot of burgers. It's like, we fought tougher enemies. What do you mean, we? I have. It's cleansed. We did it. I mean, I did it. I mean, we did it, as in you guys watching this. I'm not counting this little red floaty. I don't know. I feel like the, the arrogance just makes it... Unlikable. I understand it's like part of the putty culture, but I'm like, nah, nah. You're not that. You're not that chill. You're not that chill. Gotcha. Gotcha. 
dead. I sincerely wouldn't kill you guys, but I have to for the cleansing ritual. <laughs> it is actually very similar to the to the island um, in Inazuma. It's kind of interesting, right? I didn't even think about it, but that whole world quest, the super long one, I never recorded it, but it's, it's the same idea as these desert ones. I just didn't realize at the time, but I definitely could have recorded that. The bird quest with Rue, little Rue. I definitely would have paid more attention to the quest. People definitely like that quest and like Rue. I know, I just got mad. <laughs> oh, just like I am right now at this hay fever. Let me purify it. Oh yeah, you do it. But I have to go beat it up? Oh man, can you actually do it? Use your power to cause them to transform into floral platforms. Do it, but I can't teleport onto that. Oh, I guess I can. Maybe I should hold it. Hold it here and then I can go there first, please. Yep, it's gone. <laughs> I hate it here. Land on this, please, Yelon. Yep, that's how it works. You can glide up things. What is... What do you mean? <laughs> I'm stuck. I'm actually stuck. <laughs> oh, yeah, good, good stuff, guys. So, you're telling... Alright, well, I have to teleport because we are doomed. Everything is so far away. Who would have thought the cleansing was so difficult? I certainly didn't. I thought the cleansing would be the easy part. But no. I was too busy getting stuck while gliding. I don't know. I don't know if I'm just being extremely stupid, which definitely happens. It happens more often than I'd like to admit. Why is it there now? Was it looking the wrong way? Am I... You know, that's exactly what I mean. Am I that stupid? Yeah, it's just higher up. <laughs> exactly my point! Holy shit, I thought I was doomed. I thought it was gone. Get it. Get it. Get it. Bam. Get it. Get it. Get it. Bam. Oh, that was kind of cool. And finally, our last song has been played. Now what? Me here. Me here. I'm coming back. Are you underground? There's no way you are. Yeah. There was no way. <laughs> there was no way. That's no, okay. We like running. I feel like running. Wasn't that an amber line? I feel like running. I love running. Anyone else feel like running? I feel like most of us are like, ah, oh, please do anything but running. Please no running. Oh, look at that. A self-moving little thing. And it keeps removing and putting the salt pile back. I keep calling it salt. Whoa. Dude, that's death right there. I kind of want to jump in it. <laughs> I can't help myself. Things I have never tried, I need to try. Whee! Oh, you can walk on it. Eee! How weird. That's like ripple effect as well. The purple guck. I got my purple guck all over my heels. I'd rather not. I'd rather keep my heels clean. <laughs> Here we go. Sorry about that. Hmm, our work is done. Seems the flower float flip 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 trod got on the tree. But what do we do next? Don't look at me. I'm as close as you. Now that Soru has already put the twin horn chaplet, she can connect to the memories and the wisdom of the Harvard Purple and the Chaplet. Give it a try, Sorush. I know, but I'm not yet used to the chaplet. Uh I think I see new shoots sprouting, but the filth hasn't fully cleansed yet. We need to purify those flowers. Then the pure power of Kvadena will thrive again. The what now? Go to the first huge tree. This is not a huge tree yet. Maybe it will be, though. Cleanse it. It is being cleansed. It had a health bar, and I was like, wait a second, are we gonna fight? But no, not yet, anyway. I assume there's four as well. For every song, there's one thing. That's a really high up ceiling over there. You know, you can go a bit faster if you wish. I understand we've taken our time with everything so far, but if the world truly is ending and this hole will release the abyss, maybe it would be better to like chop chop a little bit, you know? Even just a little bit. Alright, there are monsters. So many, there's just two. Stop it! Stop it, you imbecile! I'm killing your mage as he's laying on the floor. All right, we're good. There is, okay, you're right, there is so many. How'd you make it up there? Get down from there, wolf. Oh my god, there's so many. I should not have been flexing about them not being so many. Okay, this guy's weak against Yale and you suck. Poopy, 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 poop. 
Is it still gaining any progress, or do I actually is killing them what gives progress? I did it. I don't know if there's a point. Okay, I see. One last flower. Oh, there's only three. Pamon hopes it won't bring terrible filth. That's foreshadowing. You're actually cursing us. You've jinxed it. Now we're gonna get destroyed. I see it's over there. Come on, Sarush. For someone that has Rush in their name, you really don't go that fast. <laughs> you really don't seem that convinced. Alright. Yup. Ah, lovely. Ah, not again. Shocker. Make sure to protect me. I'm 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 working on it. Although these enemies don't really care about me, they kind of just care about you. What is this idiot doing? His head is stuck in the wall. Bum, 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 bum. Hold click. Oh, big damage, big damage from the Ning. Hey, beware of angry dog. Really? What an interesting achievement. Is it like you don't per se have to kill it, but if you do kill it, you get achievement? Super mega rare. Not really dealing with this Electro Shield very effectively with my No Gear Shout. I think he has two artifacts. He has three. B, 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 ba, ba, ba. Dendro is so strong against shields. Oh, I wasn't done killing them. It's gotten quiet. Finally. Now, perform the Rite of Chinvat before the filth starts to ooze out again. Then our job will be done. And that means I can sleep in peace without anyone disturbing me. Come on, Sarush. Sarush, hurry up. It has to be the three of us. Nods. Flies away. Oh, everyone gets their own tree. And what do we do? What do we do? Ritual time. Do a little dance. Oh, it's cutscene time for real this time. Phew. Wow. Careful, there's an Oculus there. I still need to get... Ah, oh, it's dead. It's gone. I can never get all the Oculi now. It's ruined. <laughs> wow, that cutscene did have barely any audio. Whoa. 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 Nice. Done. The path to the depths is opened and our mission is completed. Huh? That was quick. He kept talking about right and stuff, so Palma thought it'd be a whole bunch of complicated incantations to conduct. <laughs> Only human needs such things. They can't even wield the power of the elements on their own. We probably are different from our power and that of the Kfarena hail from the same source. Our power and that of the Kfarena. There you go. Um, it's like how humans don't need to recite incantations to walk. Um, although, you don't walk. You float. <laughs> like Paimon said, your logic is weird. Anyway, let's not waste some time on this irrelevant topic. I'll leave what's next up to you. May the eternal Kvadena guide us up to our path of poor pur 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 A rope over an abyss. It's not yet done. It's not yet done. Pass through. Really? Alright. Whoa! Hey, this is an abyssal transfer uh, tra tra transition, though. What the? Hello? I swear if I die. Are we at the top of the large tree stump? <laughs> we went through all the effort passing through the caravan, only to get, only to get blocked again? I've obtained a twin or chaplet, so why is the rejecting me? Shouldn't be happening, Sob. Is there something wrong, Sarush? You don't look so good. It's a twin or chaplet. Something is coming in. What? Hey, Sarush! The roots of the ancient tree spread and interweave, each connection giving off a faint light. As light and shadow intertwine, one image after another flashes by. Amidst the desolate mountains, heroes wield various weapons. The Pari lined up behind them. And though the dark clouds hand them back in, they do not move a single step back. In the darkest depths, titanic machinery glimmers softly, covering the flight of the people from rolling back in flames. Rolling back in flames. Yo, titanic and depths? Funny. Topical. Upon the boundless wilderness, a masked sword wielder and a one-armed sage stands back to back. Under the aegis of Kvarena, they resist a swarm of monsters rushing in like the tide. The Kvarena guide the path of all, and it is their destination as well. The countless lights converge into tiny motes, the white glow ascending from the tree's base. Eventually, the once dark sky lights up. Oh. 
real cutscene. No, just open the gate. Uh, save it! <laughs> she died! What the fuck? Save her! Oh my god, what the fuck? Yo, this is crazy, what the hell? The way that looked? Come on, Sarush, wake up! Ah. Uh. Huh, you're finally awake. You scared Paimon, fainting like you did up there. I, uh, I'm fine. But the tree opened up after that, and we followed the path in. This is the giant lotus, Galkarina, that Zura was talking about, right? What happened to you earlier? Did something go wrong with the chaplet? I saw memories that the earth returned to Habitabra. Countless Pari, Darien machines, and human warriors sacrificed themselves in the battle against the demons. A masked swordsman, a one-armed sage, and our ancient forerunners defeated the monsters that rose from the depths. This, this swordman has to be our brother, no. <laughs> we fought against the- well, he fought against the Abyss originally, but now- I don't know. I'm just talking out my ass. Uh, consciousness uh, together with the Kfarena, turning them into rain that descended from the heavens. The Donarian machines. Wait, did things really go the way Nasiyuna said they did? Looks like we'll have to ask Zervan. Yeah, but what should we do now? Pine remembers Zervan saying that we needed to clean out the impurities or something like that. We must enter the foul chambers in our god's consciousness to rescue the spenta hearts trapped inside the impurities. Only then will the consciousness reawaken. In the memories I saw, that place was a boundless void. If that's the case, how are we supposed to get in? Come with me. We all need to follow the paths left by the heroes of old, and we will reach our destination. Okay. No achievements, so... Enter the foul chambers... Really? How? <laughs> <laughs> How do you do anything? How do I get out of here? Is it with this? Light call path. Okay. Floating orbs, closed path. Okay, so... But... I need to get out of this thing first. I don't even know how. Maybe I just walk to the side and jump out. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe that is all it takes. Okay, and now we need to... Four-leaf clover our way up. There are some over there. We need to find the lowest one. How is this still a puzzle? Just guide me. You're not a great guide. You know what? I'll say it. You're not a great guide. You're kind. Of, you're kind of just there, and you happen to have this mystical power. Huh. Eh. <laughs> there you go. What the hell? Or what the heavens? <laughs> All right. Uh huh. The mysterious floating stones in the default chamber can only be sent by a party like Sorush. Hold her interact skill to cause her to stop. She then... Yeah, I know. Alright. Ow. Ow. Stop it. Why would you do that? Ow. Ow. Why are you so mean? <laughs> She's healing over time. <laughs> Maybe I didn't understand what it said. Oh, there's the stone. Take it easy. Parkour. Huh. Maybe I did do it right. Thanks. Put in here. What do you mean? Maybe I should have stuck with that thing, eh? How do we get up there? I'm being shot. I'm being shot. I repeat. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Grab this. Place it up here. Exit this. Teleport up here. It's kind of cool. Alright, I'll just accept getting fired at. Oh, insane dodging skills. Ow. Just place it up here. No, you frick. Ugh. Easiest dodge of my life, and then we hold E on this. Die. Good kill. Enemy KIA. Alright, well, I guess we're gonna have to fight two big wolves then. Or does it have its original fighting music in here? I can't really hear it, it's very quiet. 
It does sound different. It sounds more like Enkai kind of music. Definitely not very Sumeru. Okay, here is light. Kind of cool. For a thumbnail, perhaps. One of them, there should be another onward. Cheese it! No, Yelan! We're good. We're fine. No, <laughs> Yelan, no. <laughs> oh, wait, there's floor right there. I could have just. Alright, well, whatever. E. T. Z. Uh. T. Where? Really? That was too far? You're actually yoking. Pling. Made it. Here's another one of these. This is quite the journey. Please don't do this to me. Alright, whatever. Do it to me. I don't care. Don't care anymore. I think I should be able to just do this. No spacebar. Perfect. Get another light thingy. Oh, can I really not make it past this? Die. It didn't create floor either? Sad. Is there a... No? No clever? How am I supposed to... Can I grab this one? Yoink. Eh, maybe I can. <laughs> what? I don't know if that's cheese or not. Maybe it's intended. There you go. We go here. And we go here. And we make it to the holy light. Door of resurrection activated. Did I like not grab one of the lights <laughs> or something? <laughs> it's definitely pointing me this way. Don't tell me I forgot one. <laughs> Don't tell me I like walked past the thing. Do I have to manually grab this perhaps? Take it easy. <laughs> That's so stupid. Why wouldn't it why wouldn't it grab it? What? I'm pretty sure I walked over it anyway. Free me. Thank you. Didn't have me worried, but Okay. Sure. Ah, yes. Now to do that another six times. Lovely. Ow. Leave my putty alone. I'm call If I ever get my own putty, I'm calling it Hilton. Get it? <laughs> putty Hilton. <laughs> I don't need. I don't need it. I don't think. I think I can make it to that. Yeah. Okay. Now what? Oh wait, I need this though. Don't I? Oh! I thought I could just... Oh, it needs to be activated by some way. This guy probably. Oi! Come save me. I need it. Pling! Plim plum plim plum. Plim plum plim plum. Now what? You're here now, great job. You are utterly useless. Do do can I enter it? No. Really? What in the world? This looks insane. And what do these do? Just doors? Just paths? Ow. Ow. Ah. Dodge it! <laughs> nice movement. <laughs> Alright, another one. Leave me alone. This will be for the top door, I bet. Can I just defeat these? Yeah, I can just punch them. Think you got anything on me? Bang. Destroyed. Dodge all that as well. I need more things, more guys. Do I need that guy over there, perhaps? 
I will try. Yeah, that seems about right. Going underneath. Please. There you go. Now it's open. Alright. Another one. And another one. And another one. Lovely. This is going to be great. I have to awaken wolves from the get-go. Why are you circling? Wake up. Busted. Things are about to get dicey. Quietly now. Beep boop. Beep boop. Beep boop. Boop. We did it. Collect this. I'm making sure I'm walking over it. Okay, I just, you just need to be really patient. We move. This is just this is just long and creepy to make you feel uneasy. It looks nice though. Got to say. But it isn't very useful. All right, another two big guys. Nothing new, just taking on two big guys. Here's one. Here comes the cash. Gotcha. Don't waste my time. Don't waste my time. We need to kill him before the other one spawns. Close. Close-ish. E. Things are about to get dicey. Things are about to get dead. Deady. Ready, deady, go. 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 Nice. All right. Need to rebring this guy. Come on. If it's only two, this was nice and easy, nice and quick. Perfect. Taking this pent up, blah, 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 blah. onward to the next defile chamber as we have done before. I'm on it. Someone isn't going to let us go. Confine us like it did to spurt the hearts. Thanks. Trifling matter, follow me. My queen. You know what you're being right now? An absolute queen. Oh, you are a champion, Sarush. You're, right now you're being my favorite. There's been some, some okay Sorush moments, but this is definitely the most Slay Sorush moments so far. Alright, this is going to be a rough one. What's the plan here, champ? Oh! Okay, I thought we were going to go way further. Sure. Alright, one more. We go up. And I had unlocked the path already, so... Wonderful. We use some time to save some time. It's like you spend money to get money, you know? But then with time, which probably, <laughs> probably doesn't work. Actually, I will prove it right now. It worked. Look, to the last area. Into the mouth of the beast. Hello. Oh, ice skating. Let me ice skate. I want Conry to have ice skating. It doesn't work. But imagine it did. It's so fun, the movement. Alright, what's this? Hello. Strange place differs from previous defiled chambers cannot detect spent the heart's presence at all. And for the crystal in the sky, they seem familiar to the chasm outside. True, they do. Whoop. I interacted with the one beam I could interact with. Hey, we flipped the world upside down or something. I'm gonna go to the big beams in the sky. It seems pretty... Pretty optimal, no? Let me fly up and investigate. No, I'm okay. I saw a beam. <laughs> I found one of them. <laughs> Easy enough. Here you go. There's one. It's taking its time. The balls of patience is what they're also called in ancient history. It's probably... Deeper. In... All right, this usually means good news, I would say. Right, because it means there's, a, we're intended to be here. This is nice, quick navigation around here. 
Oh, it's over there. The other beam. Can we fly over? Or is this one I just did? Am I that slow? I saw another beam as well, but one was like half green. Nah, here it is. I don't need to fly up to investigate nothing. Maybe I should though, just to look at how it looks. There's that thing. Eh, I mean, it's kind of cool. Landscape here is identical to those inverted crystal sky. It seems like that thing from Boob. Yep. So true, dude. I was gonna say that too. Take it easy. All right. Found all the spent the hearts. Spent, spent the hearts. Spent, spent. Spent a lot of time getting those hearts. Hearts. No, I thought I actually cheesed it. Wait. Oh, it is here. My bad. You're really reliable, Sarush. No, it isn't. How do I get there? We go around? Ugh. Ugh. Erg. Take it easy. Take it easy. We go here, I think. And then here. I'm hoping this is the path. And then we go here. <laughs> and back in here, perhaps? Yeah, there you go. Well, I got an achievement. I couldn't read it. What is it? In my sea of achievement. No! We'll never know. Go to Gawad Hamar Khamra Blah Blah Blah. Khamra Blah, I'm coming. Oh, I'm so dead. I'm, f I'm alive. Spent hearts, I will rot back the lotus according to what you said earlier, Sarush. We can now be able to divine the consciousness now. Right of absorb again. Next, I shall borrow the power of the Kfarena to make the flower of sanctity bloom once again with the Gawad But this meal mean the fifth filth guard guard gathered within this gut of which will transform monsters bar path again. Yes, I love killing monsters. If the flower of sanity grows, spread a mirror to will be blend that cleanses impurities. This then the final battle worthy for the bloom guard. Hey, wouldn't wouldn't saving this we have four hundred health. Wouldn't this saving this thing make it so that she could protect us forever? Awaken. Die. Do I get powers from this? It's all the elements. Come on, what? Hey, stop, stop screaming at me. Stressful. Bah. 99% HP, it's already lost, it's over. Hella trolls? Why? Quietly now. <laughs> he flew away. Why trolls? Bang, bang. Alright, I lost 1% health per wave so far. Which means we can do 100 waves. Which is actually the exact amount of waves there is in this thing. See, lost another percent. Oh, I lost. No, it's only one still. Listen, I can't do anything about the bleeding. Ah! Submit. E. Q. E. I can't do it. The bleed is so bad, so bad to deal with. It hits you once and you lose all your health through shields and everything. Aren't these things, or didn't they originate in Inazuma during that whole arc? Why do we still see them? Why do they keep the awful enemies? I hope Fontaine has some really nice new enemies that we don't hate. <laughs> Chance of that happening? <laughs> Very low. Quietly now. All right, go go with even more. Oh lordy! Oh goodness! Oh my god, it's it's so bad. Why am I healing? Oh, this is great. Oh, is it this orb? This orb heals? Ah, oh, I found my favorite orb. People, people, people! No, no, we're getting cheesed. She's in back. This is actually infinite Chao pogoing. This other guy is just beating the crap out of my thing. Stop. Don't waste my time. Kill him, Ning. Look at this dude. Hey, I see a I see a waypoint over there. 
fine, just kill it. Do you think it's the last one? There's no way, there's gotta be more. There's always more. Yeah. As expected. Okay, red is damaged, no? This is the final step? Oh, it's got 80% health still. The filth is slowly fading away, victory will be ours! Yes! Yes. We're so close. We're saving the world. And no one will remember it. We will be unsung heroes once more. I will not get a title for it. Maybe I will get a title. Like, friend of the party or something. What do you mean, final step? You spawn more, you lie. You lie again. I stand by this electro thing. Which makes a shockwave when I switch characters, I believe, or something. Gotcha. Bang, 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 bang. There's... You're actually such a liar. You say last wave, and then it's not last wave at all. Alright, well, uh, Geo and Dendro, please energy recharge. Come through. Dendro is so good for this. Just Dendro is ass. Get him. Get him again. Thank you. Bang. Boop. Ba. We did it. <laughs> They're all dying, dying abyss heralds in the cutscene. That's so good. I mean, so confused. We're like, huh? What? What? Uh, uh. Same. Actually, same. That's how I feel. Whoa. That's cool. That's nice. I like it. That's it. That was so short. That was so quick. I got another achievement. I can't see it. With the ride of Alps are complete, you then follow the flow of Amrita and leave the you see Zurvan, who is expecting your arrival. To think that you were truly able to complete the Rite of Absor, your deeds are indeed equal of the ancient heroes. Most surprising. Well, you don't look surprised at all. <laughs> the sight of a potion has been extinguished, and the earth was purified. To think that this could be done, even without any sacrifice. The rain was super heavy. That big hole in the sky is now gone, and the withered tree stump has grown back into a huge tree. Your god will definitely suffer less, now that she's no longer being eaten away at by those impurities. But what happened 500 years ago? Oh, that's right. The memories Sarush, Sarush saw showed that there were people from Conry amongst the skeptics who fought the monsters. Now, now, there's no need to be so serious. Since you have seen the memories of the past, what I shall now tell you are no tales, but truth. A long, long time ago, when I had first awakened amidst the sea of flowers, the skies were filled with anomalies of the dark hollow, and there were monsters roaming everywhere. Everywhere, but in this small refuge. I gathered it might have Kfar Kfarena, according to the Divine Bird's last wishes, and departed from the Sea of Flowers to subdue the monsters, until I met that golden-haired man <laughs> out in the wilderness. Has to be. Half his body became that of a monster, but I did not sense an aura of, his, of monstrosity in him. When I discovered him, he was holding a ring tightly in his hand. I brought him back to the Sea of Flowers, and when he awoke, he claimed to be a Dari swordsman who had only survived because he had been cursed. Is this... Dane? <laughs> I assume? For a time, I traveled with this mass swordsman, and we resisted a dev that invaded the Sea of Flowers. A mass swordsman. He was cursed. Mass swordsman's from Conria. Do you think that could be... Oh, so you know him. <laughs> that makes my explanation way easier. <laughs> Not long after that, people with scholarly garb led a one-armed sage... Led by a one-armed sage, sorry, came forth from lands east of the desert. They claimed to have fought a... Once fought a shoulder to shoulder with the heroes of Dari. They said that those heroes had walked their path despite the ill repute they had garnered. Gar bur 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 and that it was to, to carry the will of those heroes had borne. Wait, and it and that it was to carry the will those heroes had borne and completely destroy the disaster from the dark depths that they had followed the heroes' path to this place. Later, we entered a ruin left by the Darians together, and and there we fought machines that had stood against the monsters. Machines that belonged to the war party, and that had fought alongside those scholars. You know what, I think, uh, here, bold prediction time. That's absolutely not gonna come true. Dane? Dane is actually our sibling that has grown up. <laughs> and, uh, our sibling that we keep seeing is an echo from the past. There you go. Yep. 
Finally, the One-Armed Sage used documents left by the Darians to find a path through the darkness to the Hupleputup. Thus, we did enter the tree and use Amrita to purify the defiled skies and earth. After that, the Sea of Flowers would constantly birth Patti, and the monster slowly disappeared from the land. Later, the Mass Swordsman would leave the Sea of Flowers alongside a young man with golden hair just like yours. Ha <laughs> ha! Really now? That might be my sibling. So they were seen together. Scrap my theory. <laughs> Um, and the sage went into ruins underground and never returned. The humans who remained would forge bonds with the newborn putty and call themselves the Order of Skeptics as they settled here. And now, a golden-haired hero has returned to the Sea of Flowers, and though it is not the one who came before, I can feel that something has begun to flow again. This is also why I chose, you, uh, chose to ask you to help. With you around, I need not fret about going hither? Hither? Hither and thither. <laughs> <laughs> Hither and thither, I don't know. Uh, searching for a valiant soul to fight alongside his putty. The task of teaching humans is a most trying one indeed. That's just because you putty are each lazier than the last. Pale floater, do not include me in this. <laughs> well then, since you have finished the rite of Alzor, all impurities will not be able to threaten this place for a time, and I can take time to rest. As for Sarush, I leave her to you. Do gather well on your journey. This is, after all, also the work of a Yasna putty. I do not intend to be lectured by you, pale floater. <laughs> don't be like that. You just gotta listen to your teachers, you know? Still, Zurfan, you say like you won't meet again or something. Well, you don't intend to stay here with me, do you? You humans are all alike that. You will never stop to settle down. We will meet again. Ha! <laughs> well, I'm afraid I shan't believe you. This isn't my first time hearing such words. Speaking of which, I wonder how that masked swordsman is now. If you see him, do say hello to him for me. Ah, nah, but I want to see him so bad now. I wonder if we're actually gonna mention him. You are both travelers, after all. I'm certain your paths will cross. Frickin' Caribert. The Caribert arc was still so weird and, like, sudden and... How does it tie into anything? I don't know. Alright, alright. Go off to where you need to be. Don't miss me too much now. See you, Zervan. Complete Kvarena of good and evil. To be continued, though. There you go, right there. It just popped up a new quest already. <laughs> Is this still more? Alright, I'll check. Anyway, that's that. Cool quest. Definitely liked it. Um, especially because it ties into Dane, which is kind of a cliffhanger. But that's my favorite part of it. Uh, I'm kind of happy that this little, this little one, she finally became a bit more humble. I appreciate that. Humble is good. <laughs> Let me see if we do the rest right now. Okay, I think this is maybe the ending part. I'm not sure. I want to check it out anyway, because this just says we have to go talk to Catherine, and it's, it's finished the final step of the trial of, of the thing we just did. It, I don't know, it just sounds like a conclusion, more than a, like, because this is where it all started, of course. It's just, maybe just telling Catherine, like, yo, cat, we did it. Hey, cat. We're back, Catherine. I'm glad I did this, because I probably would have accidentally claimed the commission and then gone to this. Welcome back. I've, uh, I've received notice from the academia that you were able to successfully solve the problem posted by a strange celestial sign. Very impressive. I said you exceeded expectation on this count. Again, when will we stop exceeding expectation? I thought you'd say we were the best choice for this job. Or would you say that to literally everyone? Well, of course not. I believe you could do it. Ah, yes. We did ask you to contact the Nagarju Knights. <laughs> were they of any help, I wonder? Uh, it's a bit complicated. Seems that things got complicated. Yes, that is what I just said. However, it is all ultimately a part of your adventures, and experiences itself an irreplaceable treasure. Since you've managed to successfully finish that commission, the guild should now have permission to investigate those Conrian ruins. If any related commissions do come up, you also get the first priority in our considerations. You know, we've come all this way, but we still don't know who our commissioner was. Well, the Adventurer's Guild is obligated to keep identities of those who submit com uh, commissions confidential. As such, I'm afraid I cannot reveal that to you. However, the person who gave us that token did claim to have been a light novelist. Really? It's the guy! Yeah, Skeptic Elder, uh-huh. Like, you know something about this. But, well, that has nothing to do with the guild. Either way, the remuneration from the academia is here with me. Please, feel free to take it. That should be it. That should be it. Now we're done. Kvarena good at evil, achievement got, and the primo gems, and the things, and no more new quest pop-ups. What a nice round up for this quest. Bam. That was nice. I like that. Good quest. Pretty happy about it. Mostly, as I said, inter interested by the next lore that's going to come up. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry for butchering it earlier today. I started recording pretty early. So uh, I was like stumbling over my words a lot, etc. But a uh, good warm up for the voice. Anyway, 
Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you soon with some crazy Fontaine side quests. Whoa, 15 hour video coming up. I can't wait. I don't know. Maybe, oh, maybe it won't be that long in <laughs> Fontaine. I don't know. I'm mostly so excited to see what the landscape is going to be like. Anyway, no one cares. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you had a nice time and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Take care.